Hey. Cheers Hi. in Hello, Vod Gang. Hello, all you mudbloods and all you uh, witches and wizards. <laughs> you half blood princes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mother, dude. oh Schaefer, I'm sorry. Uh, what's going it's on? Uh, your boys came back and uh, we came back from a little trip. We went to Universal Studios Hollywood. Hollywood. That's yeah. right, Hollywood. Uh, we went mostly because we did the Harry Potter series and you guys are like, oh, you guys got to go check out the Harry Potter land at Universal. And we're like, that's a great idea. Yeah. Let's do that. We can so, warp as wizards. So we did that. Yeah. We went to Hollywood and we got Holly Weird. And we brought Louie with us. And shout outs to Louie's yeah. here. Um, Louie not feeling super well, so he's just being cautious. But yeah, I hope, be you're, safe, hope you're hope you're all right. It'll probably be back tomorrow if you're feeling fine, right? This is just, we're yeah, just being probably. safe here. Yeah, you know, but, we're lucky enough to have a job where we could uh, do this safely and still uh, be flexible. Know, keep it going. So I'm going to take full advantage of that. Yeah. So, but uh, it was nice to bring the whole gang out there. Um, we even had Jeff with us, uh, Kelly, Good and guy, uh, we brought the full crew. And I got to say this right off the top, dude, we went and got the front of the line express passes. Oh, yeah. Dude, we're never going to a theme park without those ever again. It's kind of oh, broken yeah. how broken that meta is to uh, just pay a little bit extra. And then you get to get all the experiences without any of the fucking people. Never again, dude. These lines were 60, 90 minutes. We didn't wait longer than maybe two minutes for every ride. I think we waited for uh, the goddamn Kung Fu Panda more than anything. I think probably the Pets ride might have been the longest. Yeah, actually. Yeah, actually, you're right. Uh, I don't. You know, each theme park has its own express stuff, but this was just broken. This one was absolutely broken. Dude. Yeah. Um, Dude, it, it sucks being a person without the pass, too, because mm -hmm. you're sitting there waiting, and you're like, please, no more people with passes come, then the line fills up, and they just all go in while you're still cutters. standing right in the front. Yeah. Oh, it's the worst. So let's go uh, through the experience and uh, show you guys what we saw, show you how it went, mm -hmm. tell you all the little anecdotes of what is it like to truly be in Harry Potter world. First off, this is the first thing you see right here. Yeah, this is when you walk in. This is what you see. This is what you see, boys. And it is... You get is... to see Hogwarts in the background, all the whimsical, like, snow-covered uh, shops and keeps. It's Harry Potter land, through and through. I mean, technically, in Diagon Alley, you shouldn't be able to see Hogwarts because it's further away than that, but... But I don't think this is technically Diagon Alley. I think it's something else. It's kind of just like the Hogsmeade or something like that. Yeah. Oh, the, the t town nearby with yeah. the leaky, leaky cauldron. Yeah. It had its own. It had its own name for it, but they do a great job of building fat on the bottom and making everything go skinny and small to the top, and it tricks your eye into thinking that this place is massive. Louis Gain is peeking hard, by the way. Sorry about that. I'll stay back this far. That helps. I mean, your microphone is it's crispity chunkity, but I don't have you going louder than we are. It's just crispy, is what he's saying. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a four-year-old Blue Yeti mic. I got to replace it. We got to get you a new mic, Lou. We got to get yeah. you a USB bad boy that just plugs in. You know, they got ones that got compression in them. We're going to... We got to get you that, dude. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, check this out. This is the GameCube OST for Harry Potter, yeah. by the way. <laughs> um, it's so loud on Lou's end. Is it really? Even though I got him dialed in? Lou, say something. Hey, how's it going, chat? What you doing? Sorry if I'm being really loud. I'm not... Trying to offend my your voice ears. is much louder than Louis, but it's or my microphone's much louder than Louis, but same volume doesn't sound too loud. He's just crispy. He's, he's just crispy, right? He's just a little frying on all the good. end of that gain. It's all good. It's it's good. Okay. Um, I'm gain all the way down. I'll so. let you guys know this as well. We got some treats to to try out. Um, the best part of this whole Harry Potter thing is the stores. The stores and the storefronts are all kind of very uh, themed very well. They're decorated with all the, like, the inside jokes and memes and like little trivia things. Like the chocolate frog is iconic, right? Yeah. Although I was disappointed. I uh, <laughs> I did crack open one of those chocolate frogs, and I know we're going to crack one open today. And uh, You already frogged? I pre-frogged. I had to, man. The way that frog was looking at me, dude, I had to just, I just had to know what kind of gooey center it had in the middle, and I just, I had to get into it. Well, he God had damn to have it. some alone time with one of those frogs. It's a tainted frog. We were gonna have, we were gonna take turns with our frogs. He didn't eat it. <laughs> Do you want me to just ban that guy? I can just ban that guy. Um, I'm just fixing the chat here. Okay. Uh, pops, Who's you fucked it, dick? didn't you? Yeah, I pre, I pre-frogged. 
Um, well, we'll we'll frog live in, yeah, in a minute here. Frog. Um, all kinds of treats. The stores are just done. Up. I mean, the, the, the most immersive thing is walking through these stores. You see everything. It's got all the things from, you know, when you see Hogwarts, what do you think of? You think of candy. You think of perfectly triangular cut sandwiches. And you think of, like, shiny treats and magical, whimsical treats. Mostly food. I mean, when we think of, like, the first Harry Potter, it's like all those kids were just getting oh, yeah. food, dude. They got, like, the uh, the hook, use your imagination kind of food con uh, concoction thing mm. going on. Willy Wonka vibes. Yes, dude. Peppermint toads to frogs mm. and toads and things. Yeah, a lot of like they're trying to like mix match like gross kind of like it's like the classic little kid thing where it's like it's got to be gross. Yeah. Sir. I can just perma that guy. Yeah, I was yeah, going to say, them. Devin, you're being a little weird, man. What's, just your, perma what's him. your deal, bro? Yeah, just perma him. <laughs> Why, what's going on? If someone didn't like Harry Potter? It's chill, right. bro. We're looking at chocolate frogs. How could anyone be upset today? All right, bye. Who hurt you, Devin? <laughs> Who hurt you? Sorry, Devin. You're They're having cringe. a bad. Sorry, you're having a bad day, man. But I don't think you need to take it out on anybody. Just chill. Uh, sorry if it's a toad did something to you at some point in your life. It's relax, dude. They're made of chocolate and peppermint, bro. I don't remember who it was. <laughs> and let's not forget fizzing whizbies. We've got all this shit, dude. We're gonna get into it, man. I'm excited. This music going um oh yeah so we'll get into this but we did fly by they have a restaurant uh oh. there's uh, and we're like well we gotta eat here we, we were like let's do the ride first we'll come back and hit the food mm -hmm. but um we got plenty to say about that i got footage of that too but yeah the restaurant pretty dope looking there goes but you walk look at my there goes, beautiful hair there goes papa walking in there with his mullet get yourself some theme park breakfast Ooh, a traditional English brekkie. Dude, you never see theme park breakfast. Never. I've never seen it. Yeah. Never ever. And my first thought, I don't know but you guys was like, well, you can't really fuck up breakfast. You think that. You can't. <laughs> well, uh, you can. And uh, it's a magical fuck up indeed. You can't I mean, really fuck that up. Although this, this... Even Denny's can do breakfast right, you know? Even, even Denny's. Even Denny's. Even Denny's can make a magical, magical... One thing breakfast. that they do too is they build up a lot. They they your eyes go up. You look up and there's just like all this crazy shit. They did a great job of making it feel like there's lots of pathways. Someone said Elden Ring. A little bit, <laughs> dude. When we were here, yeah. we were thinking Elden Ring the whole fucking time. Um, yeah, super dope. Very cool looking guy in there munching. And yeah, we did the butter beer. We'll show you that in yeah, a second. Yeah, we're getting there. Can you fuck breakfast? It was so horny today. What's going on? Yeah, you guys need to go to horny. I show. mean. <laughs> If you had an omelet and it was real thick, you know? All right, don't Jesus give people Christ. ideas, Louie. Jesus Christ. I don't want to encourage people fornicating their food. Dude, I love omelets, bro. Back off. Back off. Back off of my bacon and eggs. Oh, so this is like a souvenir omelet store. From all. Souvenir store. This is like when the park first opened, so it was it was nice and empty. I mean, this is yeah. like park first opened. What does Kelly have here? Oh, you get like oh, journals. Wax seal. Wax seals. Oh, like, wow. That's very Harry Potter. It's pretty fucking pottery, dude. Get an owl. Get a stuffed owl. Fuck the breakfast? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. People well, want to fuck their that. breakfast. Oh, I was checking out the... Louis, you were saying... Oh, the Nimbus! Louis, you're telling me that they got ones that vibrate. Wait, they got well, vibrating... Well, they them. Why? Why because was mine you know, vibrating? Oh. Check it out. Oh. Their they put symbols on the top. I didn't oh, know that's runes. how they. That's how they control them. Oh, it's like the keypad. There's runes in the top to tell it like, do a barrel roll left or right. It's like your map quest. Runes. That's oh, your GPS. Place to put your feet. Check it out. I had to try it out. I was trying to see if it would vibrate on me. It just made me feel so. Uh, <laughs> it's uh. It's feel nice suggestive. and wizardy. It's nice to you know. Put that on, take a little pose with it, throw it back one time. They're so tiny. Well, I mean, they're made for kids. Yeah. And Justin's six foot five. They got adult ones, I'm telling you. They, they do? are <laughs> expensive. Oh, I don't doubt it. Six, four, five, six hundred dollars for some of them bitches. Six, four hundred dollars? Sixty, four hundred dollars. Jesus. Fuck it. Depends. Well, if you want, you know, Hagrid's used broom, it's like 400. But yeah. if you want Voldemort's broom, Six hundred sixty-six dollars. I don't even remember Voldemort flying on a broom. It's like one of those things where it's not really canon, but they made one anyways. Oh yeah, in his uh, Tom Riddle days. It was crazy, dude. I think we have footage of like the crazy four hundred. See, it was this was vibrating, Lou? 
Ooh. You said they weren't supposed to vibrate. It was. <laughs> That's why Morning Myrtle was getting it was, off. It was vibrating. Well, it was vibrating, oh, all right. Dude, I can't wait to get the Morning Myrtle. Dude. Those ones just light up. Yeah, they have like little LEDs in the little uh, brush part of it. These. Whoa, those are very expensive. That's the four hundo. That's oh, like I didn't know they made full uh, replicas of the thing. That's the real thing. That's you take to the LARP session. Yeah, it looks like uh, General Radan's hair. I like the the perfectly combed back one. Perfectly oh, yeah, slick. It's nice, huh? That's a three hundo. The snake is at Snape's. Oh yes, Potter. The Nimbus 3000. What house, you guys? Oh. I'll say this. The most upsetting thing about this. It's tragic. They don't have a fucking hat thing. They don't have a sorting hat. They don't have no, a sorting no, hat. No, nothing that, like, notifies you what uh, house you belong to. They gotta have that, dude. How'd yeah. you guys screw that up? On Amazon, if you want to get one. I know, but, like, the park needs to have... I and, and trust me, I, I already thought about it. Of course, you're like, well, everyone would get lice. Just do one that's like way up high, and then this guy with the crane, he kind of lowers it just above your head, and it's like an animatronic. It's that a would symbolic. Be, that would have been sick. It didn't have to actually put on people's heads. But then we uh, we'd all have lice. But then we started playing out the scenario of you bring your kid there. They're like die hard, die hard Gryffindor, right? And they get sent to the uh, the Sorting Hat, and they're like, hey, you belong to Hufflepuff, and they're like. It would crush people's hopes. Their dreams and hopes would hopes die. Hopes and dreams. Yeah. Those are them expensive ones up there, boy. In action, too. Those are big boys. And they're Hol flying. Hologram would be cool. That would be cool, too. Yeah. Missed opportunity, though. Yeah. To not have them do a, a sorting hat bit. It is impressive to see this set, though, in person. Um, it, the, the shots don't do it per, uh, like do it justice they did a really good job of creating the set yeah dude you can get a full get the full gown oh my guy get a fucking ironclad plaque does it represent your house represent the house Is that a flask oh yeah here's can uh out of it? <laughs> hey can you drink out of it that's actually that's slytherin flask um the 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 wand store this is the wand store this is the store that uh, the joe biden looking fellow was selling them shit listen here jack you want this hickory smoke wand. Phoenix feather wand. Yeah. Olivandez. Olivanda. Uh, what we just walked in. We actually snuck in. But I guess there was a line. Yeah, we yeah, went we to didn't the back. Realize until later. No yeah, we just walked in like we thought it was a store. No and one then we're stopped like, us. The fuck? Because you had to you had to actually wait. Yeah. There was a 15 minute wait yeah. at the end of the thing. It's a ride, technically. Yeah, technically, yeah. I don't how much were one of these? Uh, like 50 bucks? 50, like 50 bucks, bucks yeah. yeah. You can get a one that lights up and sounds when you do motion stuff for only like 35 on Amazon. Oh, so. A it, Death Eater. From what I could tell, they were plastic? They were plastic. They were not wood. It looked like they could have been like some sort of like ceramic or clay or something too. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, they're made of Hogwarts finest Chinese plastic. Wow, look at that. Oh, dude, look what I found when I was there. Voldemort's. That's bad boys. Excuse me, I shouldn't be saying his name. He, he who shall not be um He who shall not have a evil wand. He who has been canceled. Tom that Riddle, one I feel like that's the safest. Yeah. Tom Riddle's wand. Yeah. This, AK Tom Riddle. This one was sealed with a dark magic. I couldn't even open it. Leviosa. So I had to use another one. Leviosa. There we go. I had to use another one so he pried open. Um but there, there were kids running around. There was some kid in here. He was decked out he had the gown thing with the the, the he had the scarf his name embroidered on it he was buying like i want this one he had like three wands yeah kid was popping off like living his best hogwarts uh do you know dream. what made me realize that uh only childs get spoiled like crazy and i think if they're like into something like hogwarts or harry potter they get every drip of harry potter they get all the wands they get all the stuff they get it all. It's unfair, man. Get that glintstone, baby. Just throwing glintstone fair, shards. Glizzy it's stone. a little bit cooler to have a brother than a Harry Potter one. I don't know, man. If I could have uh, <laughs> <laughs> done a little avatar with the, uh, what is it, the Padromus? A little Padrome in my yeah. cup. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it gives you the different, uh, oh, it's like your Aquarius sign. Yeah, you For can... your wand. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. You could actually see what you, what when you're born and what that lines up with, whichever oh, uh, wand yeah. you should be buying. 
a hazel wood associated with wisdom, protection, and magical steel. Oh, wow. <laughs> Any hazels in the chat? Mm. Mm. Someone's breaking it down. Is that Jodo? What up, dude? Hey, my man Jodo. Oh, Jodo. He said the bad word. He said the bad word. Avra. Ooh. ooh. Um, is it different types of wood you could enjoy? Ron Weasley's. They had plenty of these. No one was buying these. The Ron's swans were stacked this up. This looks like crap. They're stacked up high. It actually looks like a moaning myrtle crap. <laughs> God. It's like you Ron sh sucks, shoved man. it up your butt and then it just hardened. <laughs> 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 Professor McGonagall's, though, dude. Ooh, you know, she a freak. Dude, in that last movie, she was popping the fuck up. Oh. Yeah, she was way, she was saving all of her alts and cooldowns for the last movie. And then Dumbledore. The Elder Wand. The Elden Ring Wand. That was the coolest. Pretty weapon. epic. You gotta pry that one out of his coffin, though. Yeah, they should you make to, that harder to get. You get to crack open his, uh, his tomb like a cashew and steal the sweet, sweet innards. Uh, there's Harry Potter's. There's the Potter. There's a few of those. But yeah, Ron's was definitely overstocked. What was uh, cool was, about like, these... whole shelf. What's cool about these wands is like uh, they have like a little um, IR sensor in the in like the tip, so if you go to like certain parts of the theme park where designated, mm -hmm. and usually oh. like a, a person's there to kind of help you, mm. you do Exona Patronus, Patronus, and like it'll do like magic stuff. Cool. So it's very cool, immersive for kids. Sick. And then we approach the ride. God damn, does that look fucking cool, though, in person? That shit looked dope. Yeah, it looks yeah. really cool. We're like, dude, Elden Ring. Elden Park. Yeah, Volcano Manor. Can we get Elden Ring Park? Like, real? And then you get crushed by boulders and get <laughs> abducted by those virgin tomb things. Not everyone makes it through alive. Yes, it's the hardest theme park of all. <laughs> Usagi says, fun fact, in 2019, I rode Harry Potter The Forbidden Journey... And halfway through the ride, my cell phone shot right out of my pocket from the momentum. By some miracle, I had it, I had felt it happen and actually caught it midair. What? And had death grip on it until the ride ended. Can't Whoa, remember the rest of the that's ride. That's awesome. Yo, that's flipping dope. Phone. That's flipping dope, dude. I this, can actually see that happening with that ride. This give me ride one is, second. What's that, Lou? He's, He's muting. I'm going to be right back for one second. It's an emergency. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you think, man? Do you think? Uh, let us know what you need here. Snatcho Smartophonies. Um, and Lele, <laughs> thank you for the gifty. Thank you, thank you. Chili um, Poodle. Let me see here. Chat. Let's try. It's been a minute since we had to do a Discord call. I'll let Louie do his thing. He's got a boop. Um, yeah, dude, this ride was sick. And we'll watch the ride experience, actually. It's 30 minute wait time as soon as we got there. We walk right in there, boy. Yeah, we, uh, we got there early. So, uh, and this park doesn't really fill out until like around noon. So, uh, if you get there early, you can kind of get away with uh, some early access stuff. This ride made you dizzy. This ride definitely Ooh. takes your body, jerks you around, and forces you to look at monitors. It's fucking dope, but I, we were a little bit barfy after this one. Uh, of all the theme park rides that I've ridden, this definitely has, like, the motion sickness turned up a bit because you're doing a combination of looking at a monitor, getting swung around like a rag doll, going into practical effects, looking at a 3D monitor again, getting swung around. It's kind of wild. Mm-hmm. Very barfy. Yeah, we had to go outside and get some fresh air. This part, actually dope. This is the coolest part of the theme park, in my opinion. His paintings are actually... T that guy's talking. Dude, that's Slytherin. That's how Slytherin. That's OG Slytherin. Rammstein. Dude, that guy's fucking evil, man. Talking, dude. They're really cool, man. They they killed it on this ride. And they, like, complain about, like, uh, what's going on at the park. They're like, They're, these falafels are fucking dog shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. Milton's weird balls. You proposed to your lady in Diagon Alley. She said no, so I turned her into a frog with thick cheeks. Nice, dude. Wow. That's what it's all about, man. Maybe you should, uh, you know, do an expectant Patronus on your uh, barometer. So cool, these paintings talking, dude. It's really cool. If you're like a Harry Potter fan, this is like, I mean, this is like your shit. Yo, Tom, what up, dude? What up, Tom Riddle? They talk to passerbyers. They're not in there like doing live convo, but they're definitely like doing bits and sticks and things. That Harry Potter boy <laughs> is a nuisance. Yeah. How dare he be here and shit like that. They're mostly talking shit on Harry Potter. Lore stuff. This part was pretty sick walking in here. Dumbledore's personal bedchamber. Mm-hmm. That's sick, dude. 
uh, Jared, uh, Jarhead, Jared, think about the 10 gifted subs. Yo, Goddamn. Jared, hopping off big time, hooking up the community with 10 gifted subs. Lucy and Lenny, thank, thank, thank you guys. Dumble lore. Yeah, he kind of stands here and gives you a lot of Dumble lore. There he is. There and he is. He's like, oh, I hope you have a great time on this forbidden journey. Make sure to carry all your personal belongings in the pouch before you and properly seat yourself and keep your hands and feet inside at all times. Thank you. Yeah. Sexy Dumbledore. There you go. There's the loop. Your back loop. Put you back in Yeah, here. I had to come back for this part. Oh, dude. Dumbledore <laughs> telling you about safety? <laughs> yeah. Nice Keep your Spanish. hands and arms inside the Abre estes taros, por favor. Yeah. <laughs> and all the actors are pretty young here, so I was like, they must have filmed this for the ride, like around Goblet or some shit, because everybody here is pretty young for their... I would say pre-Deathly Hollows. Their ride uh, things. Oh. You got the lady... Uh, Holy smoke. She's, uh, you know, turning water into wine. <laughs> milk into wine. Turning milk into wine as you walk through the line. Yeah. <laughs> part was pretty sick this is the that's how the ride works that little like gif there mm -hmm. it's it's pretty barfy oh, shit. pretty fucking dripping. sick dude there's Coming the sorting hat there he is sorting a random pillar <laughs> sorting a wall i guess like, couldn't they have had something somewhere with that guy you just stand on a spot he does it yeah it would have been nice yeah he just kind of you know? yells at you just, you know, randomly sorting people. You there, you look like a Hufflepuff. Oh, big raven clown is coming from this guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and big time. Lou, live from Dumbledore's commode. Mm. Whoa. Calling Dumbledore's in personal chamber. Mm -hmm. There he is talking shit. How long is the line? How long have you all been waiting? And then, uh, yeah, we could show off the... <laughs> Part, part. We'll show off the ride in a sec, but since we already saw it, uh, we went over to the Flight of the Hippogriff, and as we're getting ready to get on the Hippogriff, we're walking into it, Louis, you know, I'll let you talk about this, but I caught what was happening over here, as you can see. <laughs> Louis, uh, you want to explain what happened? Or you want me yeah, to my explain? My dog's going crazy in the background, but I'll try my best. Um... Well, the, the last ride, I couldn't fit on it because I <laughs> I sat down, they put it on me, and it clicked one time. And then they were like, nope, it has to click three times. And I was like, well, shoot. And then they had to escort me off the premises. They said, no fat people at Hogwarts. And uh, they sent me on my way. But they had a test seat here. And I was like, okay, uh, this is going to be embarrassing because these ladies were blocking it. with They were just sitting scooters. on it. They were just sitting on it. Yeah, like, nobody needs to use this well, except us. Yeah, they were, like, taking a break over there. And I was like, wait, there's test seats over there. Yeah. They were, like, totally empty. And then you went over. Like, test seat and <laughs> be embarrassed <laughs> there, then all the way up on the ride. And get embarrassed Louis the goes end. to do the test seat. <laughs> and this lady in this motorized uh, chair. Rascal. Louis tries to go in front of her, and she starts backing up. And as he gets in front of her, she rams forward and destroys his ankles. She accelerates yeah, forward. Dude, she slammed right into my shin, like, as hard as possible. She was like, expecto patronum, and, like, fucking destroyed Louis. She fucking, I like, like Tokyo drifted into, into strong him. legs. And it's one of those things where, like, oh, fuck, what do we do? Uh, and she's like, what do I do? I don't know how this works. <laughs> I just I've wish she would have, like, broke my leg and I could have had a nice lawsuit against Universal. That would have been sick. Oh, it was hilarious. But I felt bad for Louie because, like, Louie's trying to test this thing out, and this lady's, like, crashing into him. Yeah, it was already embarrassing enough that I had to sit down and the fat people test her, and then, like, she had to fucking try to break my leg, too. So everybody's turning around and looking at me. Oh. He said, Avrakadabra. <laughs> and fucking yeeted him. Avrumakadabra. <laughs> 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 and it's like, dude, those things have a lot of torque in them, man. Oh, she took off. She like, she's like, what? Those, yeah, things, those things are to carry like 500 pound people. Yeah, they're like small wheels, yeah. but they're like, they're they're like a forklift. They're built it's, for tough. It's just like torque. Like it's just pressure yeah, moving like forward. Tesla. And Louis's ankle went right up against this rock Yeah, here. see that little like cow tipper rail at the very end of it? <laughs> fucking right yeah, for the ankle. Dude, that fucking hurt. That fucking Jesus fuck. Christ. She seemed fine. Yeah, she was fine. She's She's like, okay. Oh, thank God, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, Lou, I'll, you actually, wait, you went on this one. Wait, we, we did this one, yeah. yeah I, went, I fit on it. I got the green light on the test seat. I was good to go. 
you get a cool view of the other ride from here, but this is mostly like the shortest roller coaster. This in, is a baby coaster. It's super it's short. It's as boring as Goofy Coaster. It's like a 20 Toy foot Story. drop at best. Yeah. It's nothing to ride home about. Nothing worth it of an hour wait. Let me pull sure. up uh, the ride and we can check out that experience. Yeah, this is the actual Harry Potter inside the Hogwarts experience. Oh, I'm finally going to get to see it. You yeah. get to experience in all its glory. Actually, oops, let me fix it. Yo, Monty, uh, coming in with that tier three. What up, my man? Yo, Monty. How the hell are you doing? Sub. Much love, do, brother. Monty. How the hell uh, are you doing? Tyloge, thank you with a 40 month prime. Resubbing with your boys. Thank you so much for using your Twitch thank prime. You. Hines, welcome back. Jarhead, again. 10 gifted subs. That's 20 total God subs, damn. man. Thank you, dude. Much love. The Forbidden Journey. Look at all this line stuff we didn't see, guys. We skipped all of this because we had the express yeah. pass. I'm telling you, dudes, it's worth every penny to just walk to the front and get in the thing, man. It Although you lit. missed this stuff technically, but I guess you could just look at videos on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. The way that their express pass is it's good for one time ride. Yeah. And then you have to. But it's like you always want to just hit them once each anyways. Yeah. Do you think real Hogwarts has exit signs like that? Emergency exits? Sure. Mm -hmm. Cause also you just end up in Moaning Myrtle's uh, endless torture chamber. Mm -hmm. I was in there. <laughs> we were. We experienced it together. <laughs> there she is, dude. Talking shit. She's saucy, dude. Well, did you see that ghost orb? I saw orbs, dude. Ghost it's orbs. Haunted. This place has got real ghosts. Ghost flying orbs, around. dude. Yeah, real ghosts flying around, dude. Fuck, man. I wasn't expecting this as the ride, the bench seat thing. I do feel bad because, yeah, they, like, denied Louie here. Yeah, You know right what I mean? Here. Like, that that's what well, was a bummer. To be fair, the guy did ask me to test the seat before I got on the ride. Well, yeah, Jeff we probably should have listened him. to him. Oh, I see. <laughs> I wanted to see all the stuff anyway, so it didn't matter to me. But, uh, I mean, whoever that was, also, uh, Usagi. Dude, I had the same problem. I was, like, gripping my phone in my pocket the whole time. Really? The way that the seats here, like, cup you, it's just, like... An exit route for your pockets. Yeah. If you have loose pants. Dude, I felt like my keys and my phone coming out. And I was like, oh, shit. And I just had, like, I was leaned out, like, halfway because I had to put pressure on my yeah. pocket, dude. They fucking casting magic in there, dude. Like, phone to drop us. Oh, yeah. I was like, fucking Dumbledore is trying to steal my goddamn phone with this bitch-ass, abracadabra-ass magic. Whoa. Whoa. So the entire time you're moving sideways. Yeah. You're not moving forward. You're moving sideways. I need a fanny pack. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, it does the most universal is like screen, turn you into another room, see some cool shit, new screen. Yeah, the universal's kind of uh, theme throughout the entire thing is you watch a t you watch a movie. Right? Yeah, you're like watching a, full a movie. D experience. Yeah. Yeah. So you're like constantly doing this. <laughs> I mean, you see how much swaying is going on in this video? This is it. it it's cool, though, man. I will say this was uh, up there like Transformers. Is, yeah. Transformers ride is peak top tier Universal Studios. Probably the best thing they got. Because mm. they do like slow-mo and shit in that one, too. Oh, my God, dude. Transformers yeah. is sick. And you get squirted. You get squirted on like every ride there. Yeah. This one's so disorienting. I tried to focus on like the actor. Because the whole thing is like swooshing constantly. Yeah. So yeah, Louie, the only thing you missed out was a little bit of barfiness in this cool little video here. Yeah. You know, Harry Potter getting chased by dragons and shit. Go, oh, go! Oh. It's fucking sick. You get blasted with fire. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, Back to the Future. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's an old school one. You see how you're like, even in this video, you're trying to like back up. You're like, whoa. Oh my God. Dragon squirted us. And it's hot too. Yeah, they had heat come out of that. Yeah, I remember they that. Hot. Oh no. Scary spider. Louis, maybe it's good you didn't have to see the spiders, dude. The spider queen? Yeah. And then you got a problem with them. Fan. Yeah, you got a problem with them, Spideys, boy. And they ink you. There she is. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it also, like, this thing is like a ball that you're in. So it does a lot of, like, shit where it completely tipped back. And I didn't expect that. I was like, oh shit, we're, like, laying down now. That's when your phone falls out. Yeah, it constantly jerks you back and then forwards. So yeah. you're like, your phone's just, like, wiggling out of your pocket. Should have used the fucking uh, locker. <laughs> yeah. Eximus. <laughs> 
Yeah, when they mop up this place at night, just a mountain of phones on the ground. Yeah, they're just getting all this money and change and phones. Over to barf. <laughs> Hagrid is a ride at Orlando? Really? You ride him? <laughs> what? I didn't know that. Back Harry. Now, these look like a bunch of dicks, but it's actually the tree. It's a tree. It's dicks. not a bunch of dicks. It's the a tree. bunch of trees. The whomping willow guy. The tree's just fucking. It's not a bunch of cocks. The whomping wieners. <laughs> <laughs> whomping, weeping wieners. Get it! You got a Quidditch scene? Now I'm a little jealous. There was there was Malfoy. He was in there, Lou. Yeah. He was uh, in I'm there. a little bit jealous. Not uh, Dilfoy, but the other one. Oh, okay. Just, just regular Malfoy. Yeah. Little Draco. And the Dementors, Dementors is the coolest part. Dementors were sucking me off, dude. Dude, they almost got me oh. off. It's kind of cool to the Quidditch. To get pops off, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but those death blow, those death blowers, they'll they, get you. They'll grab you by the head and they'll suck. Ah. Oh boy. I can't even tell what I'm looking at. It gets dark here for a bit. Yeah, I think it's the Dementor part. Yeah. There it is. There yeah. it is. It's and these the, the, these Dementors are practical effects, and they get right in your face. They got real holes in their mouth. And they're... They got a vacuum hooked up in there. You feel the suction. How many also wands are just on the floor in this oh, ride? Oh, my God. Kids who, so have, who just bought their $60 piece of plastic. Going, Patrona! Dementors! Dementors, abacadabra, abacadabra, abacadabra. And then you lose your fucking $60 plastic. Connor, oh, you God. lost your fucking God. Voldemort wand. Damn it, I just fucking bought this kid a goddamn $80 wand. He wanted the McGonagall one. I don't know why it cost more than the Harry Potter one. She only popped off at the end of the whole franchise. My son wants a McGonagall. It fucked up. I thought, no, my wand. Coming out of my there. Son, my son. My boy. <laughs> the fucking uh, $40 uh, scarfs on mm -hmm. the floor, too. <laughs> the ultimate song. My wand. I lost my wand. God <laughs> damn it, Connor. <laughs> Yo, what up, Dave? Dave in the house. Dave's archives. What up, man? Yo, what up, Dave? Yo, much Dave, love. How you doing? Yeah, much love, dude. And then you go back to a you go back to a screen eventually. And, and that's what is like again. the most barfy part is like going from the screen to moving around with practical effects because your brain wants to move with the movie, mm -hmm. but you're going the opposite direction. Yeah, jerking you around. A VR will make you sick like that yeah. when you're going one way, but in real life you're trying to go another way. Let's get out. We made it. The shit with him flying around, you look sick as fuck yeah. out there. It was dope. <laughs> Calibrax, thank you, dude. And my dash stick. What I'm in. Back at Hogwarts, safe again. How y'all doing? And you win. And then everyone waves at you because you did oh. it. You're the most popular kid at Hogwarts. And everyone's your friend. And then all the instructors are happy and proud of you. Even Hagrid's in there. Yeah, <laughs> I <laughs> This one hit the NOS on that one. I think they took our picture, too. I think they did at the Dementor part. And then you go through the green, and you come back to regular Earth. Uh, Make sure to get your stone for longer. Hogwarts, right? Like, yeah. Why would you need to go through a portal if you're already there? Well, to the uh, fucking forbidden journey. Of, the journey's uh, a forbidden <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. The forbidden journey, that's why. You fool. Do, 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 so do, I was do, I was glad do. I went on it, but I did feel very motion sick, and I don't get motion sick uh, particularly easy. We had to take a break there. Yeah, and then we're Definitely. like we didn't have any. Uh... Definitely had to take a break on that one. Uh, so if you're saying if you can't uh, do bad motion sick, don't ride it. Just be warned, like if you get motion sick, you will be motion sick. That's pretty, how I would uh, adjust it. Pretty barf, yeah. yeah. Is this the fucking? But it, does, Irish? it is fun. Oh, what is this? There we go. It is a fun ride, and if you're a Harry Potter fan, then it's like something you should try to try to see in your life. The hippogriff thing, though, that was... Uh, if that line is longer than 10 minutes, I don't know if that's worth it, boy. 30-minute max ride. Uh, wait for that yeah, one. Yeah, don't fucking wait for that shit. It's literally like a 30-second ride. So short. And there's like very little Harry Potter in, in there at all. 
So it's, after that, you chill the drift, and then you go on a roller coaster, and that's it. Oh my god, yeah, it's you get to see the view of the park, I guess, for like a second, but it's a, a hot second. second, and it's, it's a, hot a second. thirty second roller coaster ride. Um, so then it was time to eat. Our yeah. stomachs had settled, and it was time to get some breakfast. We need to get something in our stomachs so we could throw up later. Um, oof. Mm. Yeah, that's how it kind of looks when it comes out. True. There was something wrong with the, everything. Also, the potatoes were weird too. Now I'm looking at like they're like cut like they're sausages. Cold. It was yeah. strange, man. They even had desserts over there. I mean, yeah, a theme park foods always slop. It's it's trash. It's how, do we, it's, how do we feed all these people? What's the dog shit about fucking um, theme park food? Is you pay. 500% markup than other food, right? Oh, yeah. Because you're in their economy, right? You don't oh, have a yeah. choice. Oh, yeah. And the food is so bad. It's so awful. It was, it was fucking terrible, dude. Disney's, got, I will say Disney usually has some good food, though. Disney's got great spots, like the chicken place. Fried chicken's fried chicken. The, the California Adventures got, like, Disney actually. Clam chowder bowl, yeah. Yeah, Disney like goes all out. The is really good. Also, Di the yeah. Pixar Pier has really good food and really good cocktails. The cocktails are where it's at. Oh, yeah. Is it worth the 500% markup, though? We got Disneyland. Oh, the cocktails, yeah. Because yeah. the experience of walking around Disneyland with a cocktail in that your hand, true. getting a little turn, is pretty fucking lit. Exactly. Yeah, why don't we walk around with booze more? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Like, are we afraid, like, kids are going to see that and get, like... I want to drink and walk around, too. Spoilers. Remember that dude who was just, like, walking like a toddler and bumped into everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that guy was super so drunk. That guy is probably the reason why they don't let you do that so much. So this is the actual effect. Very close to what you saw. Um, it, oh, God. Looks but yeah, gross. anytime it's not Disney. Look at that croissant. Six flags and this. They just kind of make some slop. <laughs> the croissant looks like cat shit. God, the croissant I had just now looks way better than it was, dude. <laughs> I bet, dude. And the eggs, chat. The I, don't, waxy, I yeah. don't know how you fuck up eggs. I don't want to think about it too much because I'll fucking throw up. But they were like water. Like they were watery. Undercooked. Like you put your fork in yeah. there and it just kind of water came out. Yeah, so imagine like very snotty, watery, just like under seasoned, just malformed eggs. Just like they're, they're more like Oh. Dish water than they are like actual eggs, and you slurp them up, and you kind of get like this soupy kind of like <laughs> eggs. You know what I'm talking about? Why does the croissant yeah. look wet? Why is everything so wet? I was so confused. <sighs> Why is everything here wet? It's a wet, big wet breakfast. Yeah, and I'll tell you, something was off with that bacon. It was wild bacon. So it was like weird. way too seasoned. Like they put way too much like uh, salt or something. Yeah, over salted. Like bacon really doesn't need seasoning. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, they did something weird with that bacon. Oh, it's, it's already it's, smoked. You, the, know? you don't need any more seasoning on that shit. The taste of the bacon is so gross. It reminded me of the smell of when you go to Universal at Halloween and you go to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre ride. <laughs> yes. It's tasted like the smell of that maze. There's a part where he's in like a butcher shop and he's like chopping up shit and he's making all the sounds. There's strobe lights going off. It's a really cool Halloween experience. But everyone goes, oh my God, it fucking stinks. It smells like a, like bad, bad meat. And like, dude, eating that, eating that fucking bacon tasted just like that smell. It yeah. was fucked, dude. Yeah, that was gross. That was the worst croissant I've ever had, I, honestly. That was like the worst croissant ever. Did you guys try yeah. warm butter beer? We did. On it I tried warm butter beer. We did the butter beer. I think we have footage of Louis trying it here. And uh, I tried warm and cold. Me and Louis got the English breakfast. That's the which is the. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, are those all mushrooms? Yeah, those yep. are all mushrooms. <laughs> They're rubbery and under seasoned and just awful. <sighs> I feel bad because like I think I disappointed my UK bros by having this be my first English breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Because it is just. Absolutely horrifically bad. Who the fuck eats beans for breakfast, dude? The, the British, the dude. UK the boys. Good. The beans were good, but I mean, those come out of a can. You can't really fuck that. Yeah, up. those are just Bush's baked beans. And Louis, you got that. We um, got the blood pudding. Blood pudding, and you wanted some napkins in case it made you want to throw up. Yep. Yes, yeah, so that's um, blood. So oh god, it looks so gross why on is it so screen. Wet? Oh, it looks it so looks gross really on gross. screen. Now, oh, here's oh, a it looks part. like a tumor, dude. Uh, it looks so it horrifying. Is. Uh, about it was if we would have tried like a real English place, I'm sure the blood sausage would have been good. Yeah, but now that's my impression of blood oh, sausage. Oh god, it universal. looks horrifying. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to eat it. I already, I already fucking bought it though. I was it like, looks it's like too a late. Cyst. I gotta eat it. <laughs> he went one hole in. 
<laughs> Not bad. You look a little worried, though. <laughs> there, did you see when I looked at the napkin? Look a little bit worried. It was like hoping yeah. it's okay. Oh, man. Oh, it's puked a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Proper black pudding does not look like that. I could believe you on that. Oh. I'm down to try it now, actually, more than before I had that because I was like, this is okay. We can only go up I'm from sure. here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's way better when you get it from a real spot. It's <laughs> probably better to start from the bottom of a, like the tier of whatever. Oh, God. It looks like a just a soggy, wet bandage. Oh. Uh. Looks like stem cell research. Oh, God, oh, God, God dude. Fetus. Sorry, Louie. Sorry you had to do that, oh. man. It's bandaged. Go to town. Yeah, go to town, Lou. Uh, oh. Chris says, uh, you got the Prime 27th. Thank you, dude. Right, right. says, uh, took my girlfriend, massive Harry Potter fan, to the one in Universal Orlando. And mm. She cried. She loved it so much. Please tell me you tried hot butter beer. Butter beer. It was amazing. I prefer regular. Uh, couldn't get enough of that shit. We did try it. Um, yeah, uh, hot butter beer is better than cold butter beer, personally. Agreed. I tried the cold butter beer. It was all right. But, dude, the hot butter beer just hit different. It was like kind of like hot cocoa, but, you know, butterscotch. Yeah, I but do have it. I have it right here. Cup. Yeah, Oof. I got the cold. It was good, man. It Super was, sugary. I just was very purposeful in just having a few sips and then getting rid of it because it was like butterscotch candy if you took a hundred of them put them in the microwave melted them melted it made it a drink and then yeah. put ice you're on a trip with your dad eating some hot worthers and then he spits it in your mouth that's kind of what it was like. that's kind of what well, it was like and um, i gone alley i was like dude I, I, i'm it's it's good it's good it's very sugary but i'm not gonna fuck with it very long because we got a whole day to be here and i don't want to go oh my tummy Fucking Harry Potter butter beer got Does butter beer taste butter? It tastes like butterscotch. Butterscotch yeah, yeah. flavored butterscotch. soda. It's like if fucking Pepsi or someone did butterscotch flavor. Yeah. Basically. And the the hot versions like what you imagine a very sugary sugary latte butterscotch flavored is it's very yeah. close to that. It's carbonated, yeah. The the cold butter beer is like soda. cream soda butterscotch. Yeah. Right. You want to try it someday? It's it's definitely worth a try. It's not alcoholic. No alcohol. Not at all, yeah. Not Disappointing. At, not in Hollywood, at least. Oh, Florida might be different. <laughs> Florida flies is kind of... Yeah, Florida, you guys got thing. alcohol on yours? Because ours were... The guy's like, I, I know it says beer, but it's all clean, man. Yeah, it was straight edge over there. Yeah. Nope. You had to go to so. Simpsons to yeah. get some booze. Simpsons booze is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's good. price, but it's good. Not in Florida, not... Yeah. I didn't think so. No. But yeah, breakfast was interesting. That... that, that, that Having theme park breakfast is the last theme park breakfast I'll ever have. I'll never again. Never, ever again. I'll just have lunch later. Yeah, I almost want to just bring some fucking cliff bars or some shit. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? They got sorting hats. You can get all that shit your own. You get... Lou, are we grabbing the wolves? Yeah, you really? Hey, man, serious Black. Serious dude. Black. That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Serious Black. Jeez, guys. And then we uh, were like, we're over this. Let's. Uh, we saw everything there was to see. It's not that big. It's pretty small. Yeah. Two rides. Looks like there was some areas where they might have an actor come out every now and then, but he wasn't. Whoever it was was not there. Yeah. There's like a door that see Bart. What's that, Lou? We saw Bart all dressed up. Oh yeah. Once we went to once we went over here, it, it turned into uh, Simpsons time. Springfield yeah. claps, dude. I like Springfield. I was looking forward to it. Huge Simpsons fan, and every time I've been here, it's been Halloween, so I never really got to like see it, see what's here. Yeah, but um, it's pretty dope, dude. It was fucking the sick. The ride was closed though, which was really cool. Yeah, the yeah. the Simpsons ride was closed for renovation. But they got the they got the dude the lard lad. Shop. Oh my god, you would, okay at the lard lad donut thing? They sell this donut. It's seven pounds of donut. A single donut is like the the size of two palms. It's like a cake, dude. And you see people just walking around eating this fucking ginormous fucking uh, fucking donut. They're like, oh my god. Gonna get sick eating that, dude. God. Definitely gonna get sick eating that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they got a lot. Mostly food over here, and then they got the ride at the end. And the ride's dope, dude. All, like, the uh, stores for The Simpsons is, like, themed for Simpsons, right? And they're all really cool looking. Yeah. Krusty Burger's a big fucking burger. That's a ginormous thing. Look at that. S so there was ball. only one time a restaurant made me throw up, and it was the Chinese chicken salad over at uh, Rainforest Cafe. Oh, boy. So I can't Oof. imagine what Krusty's Caesar salad would do to me. <laughs> Footlong glizzy. We had to hit Moe's Tavern right away. Yeah, Moe's Tavern, baby. 
And it was nice and early, so it wasn't really popping up. I love the sad barn. There's just, beer in there. Just just a little bit of beer at the end. And he's just so sad. Oh, man. Oh, no. Empty. And, of course, Pops had to hit this. He got cold fish. No. No, no I he had no. to try it again. He had cold I fish. I had to get the right grip on it, The dude. love tester. You grab it and... Yeah, I need the right grip on the it. The love o grandpa tells you how romantic you are. Let's see what Popo got. Grip it. Firmly grasp it. See, there's a meta to gripping it, right? He's trying to read the rules. It said cold fish as I approached it. Something must be wrong with this machine. I gotta make sure I'm touching it right. <laughs> Let me make sure I grabbed it correctly. The Simpsons Disney now. Right? Technically, um, I think but so, yeah. The ride's here, so they're probably just collecting the money or something. I don't know. Percentage of the ticket check or something. <gasps> they might have the theme park rights to it while they have the actual show rights. Got him. Pop's got hubba hubba. Yes. Imagine that. Imagine Not bad. That. Imagine that, chat. Mid. Got mid. Just mid. Louis steps up to bat. Big grip. Yeah. Lovers Double hand. Fist it, dude. <laughs> Louis trying to warm it up. This is probably based on the warmth that your body gives off naturally. Oh, yeah. Louis cups the tip, too. Yeah, he <laughs> grabs the top of it. Grabs I don't want to make a mess. <laughs> I guess I wanted to shoot off his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Louis comes in with the big grip. Thinking hard, too, about romantic thoughts. Think about love. Think about sex. <laughs> thinking about love. Thinking about it. Thinking about Cur oh, here it. Cradle is. the balls. Here it goes. Louis got. Uh, uh, Lukewarm. And he's happy with that. Yeah. Good enough. You know? Lowered expectations. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mid-tier, not bad. Yeah. You're not lovelorn, at least, you know. You're just lukewarm. I step up to bat. It's all in the approach. I think it's reading your grip from as you approach. I think it's a foreplay thing, right? And I look at the fingers, dude. Check it out. But to be fair, I'm terrible at foreplay. Well, it shows one after the other, yeah. and a big grip, dude. Let that thing read my read it all. Read the pulse. Get read it. the pulse. Hubba hubba. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. All right, above average. Say, so everybody, get in there. Who's next? Jeffy, coming in. Big Jeff. Mr. Dude, Psychology so himself. Jeff, Whoa, dude, he gets he down on its level. Funny, <laughs> Jeff was doing some advanced tech wow. with this, this love tester. Okay. He got, got down. He likes looking up at it. Okay, <laughs> he, I see. He got down low with this. I was like, what the fuck, dude? What is this grip? What is that? I was like, oh, Yo. what's with the assistance? I had to come in there. Wow. He was going for a good read. I had to help him out. Coming through the back, lukewarm. Me and Jeff are <laughs> being <fair laughs> each other. He's like, man, fuck this machine. He's broken. <laughs> Um, it's pretty cool they're playing bits of the cartoon back there. They got actual beer. Yeah, they actually nice. dust beer, which is alcoholic. Psychology of love. <laughs> Getting elbow deep on that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it's a full bar. Like, you can get custom cocktails and stuff. Mm -hmm. <gasps> the yep. Flamin' Mo! We had to get the Flamin' Mo. Look at that, dude. So cool. When but... you order a Flamin' Mo, everyone wants to know what's going on. Oh my god, everybody at the bar. Hold on, hold on. What? What did you guys get? What is whoa, that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that okay to... Have? What's going on? That's like, well... Nice. Did you ever watch the cartoon? It's whoa, a flaming mo. Oh, my God. What is that time? <laughs> it's a so flaming mo must be blue, though. Why don't they do, like, raspberry soda or something, you know? It's new. It was new, but... Also, I'll tell everybody the recipe for flaming mo. You ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. You get two Dixie cups. Mm-hmm. Put uh, dry ice at the bottom of one of them. Poke some holes in the other Dixie cup. Put it on top. Pour orange soda in there. You have a flaming mouth. <laughs> orange soda. It's there orange was soda. No, there was no alcohol in there. Not at all. But I they guess... serve alcohol. So Should we why have didn't... asked for it? Why not put alcohol in there Should we have already? asked for flaming mo extra hot? We kind of asked if they could give us an alcoholic one. They said no. So weird. It is weird. It's a full bar. And that's a bar I asked him if it had codeine. He said no, and I was very disappointed. Yeah, and it's just a it's, it's a bummer too because like he hands it to you, and it's like you know, bartender hands you a drink, and it's like pay. Yeah. So it's like we were like, oh, let's film it, you know, because the thing's going, and we're like trying to cheers it, and he's just standing there like that'll be fucking whatever it was, fifty dollars or whatever <laughs> for three cups of orange soda, <laughs> and I'm like I'm trying to film a thing, and he's just like giving me the look, so I'm like okay, I gotta I gotta pay the guy because he's standing there. I was like shit, you guys wait. You guys just started huffing that shit. How was it? That it's that dang, first dude, that first huff, dude. Getcha. It was dank, dude. Dude, it hits, man. It's like you gotta drink it, but also not breathe. 
You have to suck the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kelly tried it. She uh, breathed it in. It was coughing everywhere. <laughs> it's hard not to breathe and drink at the same time. That was pretty cool. Yeah, see, everyone started coming around. It's like, whoa, what's going on? Dude, some, what are these cool guys doing? This fucking crazy alcohol drink going on. What is this? Whoa. They're vape chugging or something. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Dude, you see when I hit it? Dude, it's a the drink you can smoke. <laughs> oh, dude. Pretty sick. Skit, skit. Pretty sick, dude. Nice. Just keeping dude. it OS. Just, you know, keeping it OS. You know how it is. Then we hit the power plant. A lot of that stuff is just like front facing nothing stuff. Pure decoration. Yeah. Like yeah. interactive interactive uh, decor. But this this scenery is so cool, man. Fucking crusty land. Chilling. Uh, welcome to a journey in my mouth. Don't press that. Why are you touching that, man? Oh, it felt good to touch I don't even know what it did. I don't think it did anything. It was busted. And then they don't even have, you know, the do it for her, the the Mar uh, the uh, Maggie stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was like, this is not canon. Not canon. The Quickie Mart. I had to hit the Quickie Mart one time. Yeah. Yo, Relock coming with a brand new Prime. Thank you, dude. Thank Bab. you so much. Yo, Babby, you guys should check out Hagrid's Coaster. Diagon Alley in Orlando. Let me we'll actually pull, pull that. I'll pull that. that up, dude. I want to see what that is. The Quickie Mart. Oh, uh, you know, all the merch. It's hey, nice, Louis Hat. It's a nice beanie you got there, Lou. Yeah, dude, I love this beanie. It actually uh, is awesome because I, very I can't quality. wear the hats. You know what I mean? Yeah, I had to buy one to match you because it was just too cool. Um, but yeah, it was funny getting rung up, buying a few things there. The lady's like, "So you watch The Simpsons?" Um, I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "I've never seen an episode in my life." And you work here? What? Yes, that's what she said How to me. How do you avoid seeing at least one episode of The Simpsons? In the past she, 30 years. She's in the Quickie Mart. You're, you, you get, you're standing in the Quickie Mart. <laughs> You've never even, you don't even know what the Simpsons are? She's working there. Well, hey, I, fair, that's I don't quite get Simpsons. it. I, I never they, got it. I, I think they have monitors here playing clips never of the show. It. Never, never once. Seen, never watched never it. At it. The, look at right there at the top screen. There's an episode right there. She's a no, liar. Dude. I refuse to even I've watch it. I never that. looked up. I no. mopped the floor and I don't look up. No. No, I was like, well, you should really uh, turn around and watch it sometime. It's literally right behind It's a pretty good show. I don't lie. <laughs> no. She's like, wow, you bought pajama bottoms and uh, beanie. And I must really like the show. I was like, yeah, it's great. I grew up on it. It's one of my favorites. Do you Never think she, seen it. Do you Never think she cared asked for it. like 50 people a day, have you watched The Simpsons? Yeah. <laughs> I've never All seen it. All day long, she asked that same question. Never seen it in my life. Yo, Kawika, like, I'm glad you got the package, She's man. She's trying to flex on us, dude. Oh, Kawika, you got it? Hell yes, man. Awesome, dude. Fucking stoked. Got the bonker, baby. Enjoy that gold, baby. I can pull up the Thank Hagrid. You, yeah, I want to see what the Hagrid looks like. Before we move on, let's see. Because I think the next stuff is uh, my favorite part of the whole Universal experience. Orlando always uh, kind of has the better versions of everything we got over here. I think they have more space to kind of yeah, add more stuff. Yeah, Because uh, California's pretty cramped. Yo, eating ass oh, crap. Oh, wow. There there you do. Their coasters are actually <laughs> actual coasters. Front row 4K POV. Dude, POV is my favorite. Let's see it. The Potter Collector. The Potter. I can already oh, wow. tell this. I can already tell this better. This is automatically better. I already can tell you. Florida. Always got it going on. You get to, yeah, the seat isn't a seat. It's a giant Hagrid. And you sit on his lap. Sit on my oh, lap, Harry. Dude. <laughs> e pine, thank you, dude. You know what I'd like to do? Um, is oh, it's like a motorcycle. Oh, oh that's it's sick. It's Hagrid's motorcycle from when he's driving through the fucking space and time. That's fucking dope, dude. Oh. Hagrid, is that your wand or what? I don't have a wand. Yeah, <laughs> I never used one. They don't allow me because I'm half giant. <laughs> oh, you're in a sidecar. Is that a loop? They should have, if you're on a sidecar, then they should have a guy in like the front row who's attached by motorcycle. He's like a Hagrid actor. Yeah. And he rides the ride all day long and interacts with you. Dude, what a job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional Hagrid. I'm a Hagrid all day on a roller coaster Louis, all day. I have your new calling, man. You want to be professional Dude, Hagrid? Dude. That'd For sure. Dude. I'll go to the Hollywood Walk or whatever and I'll just walk around as Hagrid. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that big homeless man? It's me, Harry. 
Hold on, Harry. We're going through a tight turn. Watch your head. The clearance is low. What the What the fuck? hell is that? What the f There's it's Hagrid. Like a back scorpion. This is some uh, Elden Ring shit. What the fuck is that? Is that anus? Hey, there he is. Hey! I don't know what quite this thing is. Some kind of uh, scorpion monster got in my house. I'm fighting the uh, Lord of Blasphemy <laughs> over here. This looks dope. It's his pet. I definitely prefer this over the hippogriff, right? This is way better than the hippogriff. Going to touch chan. Woo! Whee! Woo! Tight turn, Harry. It's about time Hagrid gets his credit, dude. This is a big coaster. It's a three-minute ride? Damn. Okay. He said, we've got to get through the evil forest. <gasps> Cerberus! Cerberus with eating a big old doggy bone. Dude, sick. And he's sleeping. Oh, play him a song. There's there, the car. Oh, shit, there it is. Ooh. In the dig pit. You really fogged it up. And you do the whole thing backwards. And you go backwards. I've got you. Don't worry. That's how you save space right there. Yeah. That's how you Sounds double. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, double the roller coaster's length. Why not? You want to go? Yeah, dude, this would be good. Wait, why is it slowing down? Oh, I think it went through like a secret tunnel or something. Oh, like a back door entrance? Yeah, yeah. like changes track. It gets better? Oh, shit. Dark forest. Devil snare. Cool. Dude's popping off. <laughs> Fucking read all the books. Oh no! Spiders! Cool. Get blasted. What's it? Are we gonna like hit a loop and shit? We're just on our way back. Boom. Cool. That's not it. It's not done yet. God damn, there's a long run. <gasps> the unicorn. Unicorn blood. Oh. Uh, there's a 10 foot drop right there. Oh, I see. <laughs> there's a vertical drop. Oh, so you get different pathways. Oh, that's cool. When it backed up. There's a unicorn. Baby unicorn. Look at that. Just centaur animatronic comes out, grabs him, starts eating it. It's eating its neck, sucking its blood. Yeah. That blood's good stuff. In the wild. Oh. Unicorn blood. OP, dude. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, dude has every Harry Potter fanfic, every oh, Potter yeah. manga, every Harry Potter. Every, every, everything. He's a Slytherin, Respect, though. Dude. Respect, dude. Respect. Respect, well, dog. I don't know about Actually, Slytherin. You had a good though. point there, Pops. Kind of sus. Leviosa. Leviosa. I would like to do like a roller coaster like tour, like Cedar Glen and all those Ooh. things. That'd be really cool. Hit the good stuff right yeah. there, boy. Hit that good stuff, boy. Um, then it was time for the tram. <gasps> now Dude, just, now you see that in the uh, corner behind the chat? Oh, yeah? Look at that. <laughs> Fast and Furious. My duvet diesel. Supercharged. Hey, it's all about family. This was new. I didn't know that this was a part of the tram. But Dude, it's all about family. I love Fast and Furious. I can't wait to do the Fast and Furious movie commentaries. Mm -hmm. It's going to pop off big boys. The, the King Kong thing was a part of the tram for a while. It's a, it's a tram ride. Gives you the behind-the-scenes look at a lot of studio lot stuff. But then it goes through like a wraparound. He said it was like a 130-foot monitor yeah. some shit. It was crazy with the glasses. This is actually the best part of the whole experience, honestly, was the back lot tour. I, I thought it was going to be the lamest part, but it actually turned out to be fucking really yeah. cool. It's the best part by far. Yeah, Jackie <laughs> didn't like the tram. Dude, we thought the tram was sick. I was popping off on the tram, i be honest with you. The tram was basically like three rides in one. It's like a studio lot tour. You get some trivia and stuff, and mm -hmm. then you get King Kong in 3D, and then you get this Fast and Furious 3D yeah. thing. I thought this was cool because it's like, he's like, yeah, there's Ted. Look at that. You remember Ted? Anyone? Ted 2? How about Ted 2? Come on, Mark Wahlberg. Come on. He showed up on Ted. He was like, 
talking about Ted dancing, and then he goes, look, there's Ted right there. And then he look, and it's fucking Ted from the movie. There's Ted. Everyone loves Ted. I see Ted dancing from fucking Curb, dude. I don't give a shit about this thing. And he's like, this, these are the private rooms for, like, huge celebrities here writing and working on projects. Sylvester Stallone stayed here. The Rock Johnson? Dwayne The Rock Johnson's currently staying here right now filming... Fucking Kevin what's it Hart called? and Rock go on an adventure. Jumanji Seven. They're filming that right now. They're filming Dude, that here. You could actually smell what the Rock was cooking. Yeah, it was chilly. It's always cool seeing like the back lot stuff. You're like, whoa, it's a real city, man. Yeah. Nah, it's just a place where they use it's a bunch a of plastic foam rubber. They'll use one corner and film like an ad for Saturday Night Live in New York, mm -hmm. and it's they in did, LA. Like, Bruce Mighty here. Yeah, and, that's uh, right. A few other really cool ones. They'll just put a few signs up, change a few things, repaint some of these, yeah. update them, and you get to see Back to the Future, which is... Yeah, they get to see the city square. That's always really Nostalgic. dope, Nostalgic, and you get to see it. It even had the electrical wire right where it was in the movie. Marty. Back to the Future. It's so tiny, too, man. It's a lot smaller than you think, but it they can get tiny. so many big shots out of it. Yeah, everything is just just the front-facing sheetrock. WandaVision vibes? <laughs> they actually filmed... Parts of WandaVision here. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool how much use they get because I would think, like, wouldn't they probably want to change this all the time and like completely demolish it and redo it? But no, they just kind of repaint, rechange a few walls there's and it's a new the, city. Uh, there's the Back to the Future. That's the Back to the Future City Hall. They remodeled a little bit to make it less like the Back to the Future because it was so and different, iconic, uh, they said. Different shows, different movies do something with the set, so it's changed throughout mm -hmm. the years. And here we go. We're going into King Kong. Everybody hold on now. It's going to get wacky. You might die. Be careful here. Put on your 3D glasses, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Big 3D glasses thing. I don't. I that wonder. from the eye with the freaking end of the 3D glasses. Like, oh, God, am I going to die now? I wonder if anyone was brave enough to film that and put that on YouTube. They have to have it, right? But Dude, gotta be one. I tried. It was, uh, I had to put my phone away. That shit was bucking. That whole train Oh, was... yeah. You're getting shot with liquid. You're getting bunked around. Uh, Goro shows up. It's pretty nice. I definitely want to do the Hollywood, uh, Halloween version of Universe. I've never done any of that. Universe. Yeah, there's way less rides, just more mazes. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. I remember one time I saw a Bill and Ted, uh, live show. It was pretty, uh... Boring? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Some, someone did film it. Someone did find a way to film this giant wraparound 3D monitor. It's pretty cool. This is all directed by Peter Jackson. He directed this. It looks fucking cool, man. It was basically real-life Goro bet time. Yeah, we were in the middle of the bet. We were just screaming for Goro, like, Let's fucking go! Goro! Let's fucking go! Goro. And meanwhile, your tram is, is moving and getting blasted with air and water, and it's, uh, it's a whole experience. We're surrounded, folks. Do you have your 3D glasses on? I hope so. This is crazy. And it's different on both sides, Yep, which is sick. It's two different movies happening. Goro! Goro. Fucking Goro! That's my man! Fucking Goro! Papa King! Fucking Goro! He pops off, dude. It's so sick. Poor ride, it's pretty brutal, too. Yeah. Yeah, he kicks their ass. When he's, like, running along the top of the tram, you feel the footsteps. Like, kum, kum, kum. It feels so cool, man. Bongos activate. Dun, 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 dun. This is this. sick. Oh, he oh, missed he it. Two, two shoe oh, it, it, oh it, some it, other people died. He splits it. Oh, oh I didn't, I didn't, see, that. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. <laughs> Holy shit, that's dope. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> well, didn't need them. This is the worst family vacation ever. Nah, I'm sure they're fine in Skull Island. Well, no go damn Goro gets in there and suplexes him. Dude, F5. He comes right back. Dude. Goro! Goro rides so sick. They should have bought the Express Pass. I was thinking the same yeah, thing. Losers. Oh, yeah, King Kong 3. All right, folks. There he was. <laughs> King Kong, directed by Peter Jackson. They were putting all your uh, glasses there. He's the king of the jungle. Uh, uh, fucking King Kong. And then uh, it does cut into a, a few more things. A few more historical, historical vehicles. Oh, Knight Rider. 
can see the uh, Knight Rider car. That must be car. new Knight Rider, right? Yeah, yeah that's a Mustang. Sitting right there. There it is, Magnum PI, chilling. The best was the tour guy was like, you all recognize Knight Rider. I'm like, yeah, totally. Oh, totally yeah. remember that. Yep. Yeah, Boomer. Dude, the Pulse car. Dude, the Probe, the Ford Probe. Look, Look at, at that. that. Look at that Probe, dude. <whistles> Look at that Probe. That uh, Homer Simpson car almost. <laughs> Back to the Future. <laughs> Yo, John Goodman's ass cheeks were in those seats. Yeah, Barn. My ass has been in the seat. Yeah, by yeah, by Get to sniff that seat, dude. Want to sniff it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but do. On the license plate. <gasps> there it is. Paul Walker's car. The actual one created for the film. Daniel Radcliffe was in there. And Ron Weasels. <gasps> the Nissan Skyline. That is my favorite car, like, ever. Louis was pogging pretty hard on that this one. This was pogging harder than me, though. I'm not going to take all the credit. That's my, that's my best car. <laughs> that's your car? Dream car? There's the It car from South Park. <laughs> Jurassic Park dome car. Oh, from Transformers. from Transformers. And, uh, yeah, he's like, and there's a tank. And it's um, completely made out of plywood. Yep, it's all wood. They it can, still uh, looks impressive, even though when you know it's uh, plywood. Yeah, like they basically pick that thing up with a crank and they move it around the set. Yeah, it's just cheaper. <laughs> just don't sit on it. You might break it, actually. There's Louie just enjoying himself. Getting danked out on those uh, Jurassic Park smokes. Enjoying the theme park. Yeah, was, Goldblum was in that thing. That's like the mobile op operations center from uh, Jurassic World. Only starts squirting second, you. The second one, Lost World. He <laughs> started getting wet, dude. It actually scared me. Because, like, as a kid, those fucking dinosaurs were so scary to think about. They could just spit acid on you or whatever. Acid. <sighs> Indominus Rex. Used in the that actual ride. Was broken. This is where they filmed um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think he said Westwood. They did a Westwood few things also... here, too. Yep. A little bit of Westwood. This oh, is a classic this scene. was dope. They do a fake seismic... Right? It was like a fake collapse of the subway yeah, station. Yeah, they do like a natural disaster scene in this area. There's really Guy cool. Fieri's gearbox. Earthquake. And then, of course, Jaws. We were in the wrong seats for Jaws, man. Kelly was in the worst spot right there. Yeah, Kelly got was, the worst. She was, uh, and they're like, oh, no, we got to, we, we forgot there's a guy out there. Oh, no, he's dead. Uh, Ron's dead. Oh, no. Bye, Ron. Here's a tip. <laughs> if you guys go to Universal Studios Hollywood and you want to see Jaws, don't sit in the front tram. You got to be in, like, the third one or something like that. Yeah. Here you go, guy. This side. I mean, you're not missing much. It gets hot. It's fire. Fair, yeah. That's, that's, that's the, the experience. Me, I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, God yeah. damn, sucker came out of nowhere. More famous there's cars. More, uh, there's <gasps> Dom's, uh, Dom's car. Dom's car. Hey, it's my judge. It's all about family. Family. It's all about family. They got the Mitsubishi over there, too, and a couple of the other ones. Pretty sick, dude. Fast and the Furious. Pull it up. Pull it up, dog. I think that's the one from Too Fast, Too Furious. I'm not sure, though. There he is. Normie. Oh, yeah, there's that dude. Hey, Norman. I was like, what the hell is that guy doing? Does he realize that the tram's going by? We can see him right now? <laughs> Freak. This guy's just you like... It's kind of weird, though. What? He's like, why is, he, why is he wearing a mask when he's so far away from everybody? He doesn't want to get COVID with the dummy. Well, he doesn't want to give, you know, the people in that office, you know, COVID. There's Whoever's nobody in, there. in there. There's, there's probably... Nobody. A, what if there's another Norman in there that they switch and take breaks? <laughs> Well, you know? just fucking put on a mask when you switch. Like, why are you ruining the whole experience, dude? <laughs> I do like this Norman Bates, though. He is so into character. <laughs> Swing! <laughs> he did a little anime flourish with the blade. Oh, yeah. When we drove away, he went <laughs> and put it away. We're like, yeah. God damn, he's a samurai. He's been doing that all day. <laughs> I guess when you're bored doing that job, you just do knife tricks. Yeah, you Pass make the it time. creative. This whole set was made, took about, he said it cost like $400,000, and they used about three seconds of it. Yeah, big waste of money. Yeah, from War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise and Dakota Fanning. It's yeah. a great movie, if you guys have never seen it. Mm -hmm. um, another thing about the Psycho set, though, you got to see the actual dummy of Mother. I think it was the actual dummy. It looked like the one from the movie. When you drive by the, the mansion in the corner. Oh, in dope. the window, yeah. yeah. It was so dope to see that as a fan of Hitchcock. I was like, oh, that's fucking sick. Yeah. 
than Logic do a video here? I mean, this thing's Maybe. sitting here. I'm sure it's in more than just War. I know it's in more more than just War of the Worlds. He said a few things. He name dropped a few movies. Yeah. They get good they use out of this. Some like half. What was it? Like a million dollars to ship that thing out here? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, they didn't it's think about the shipping on that. Yeah, the plane was only like two hundred thousand, but the shipping was like seven hundred or something like that. Yeah. Then this is the Fast and Furious. We went to Fast and Furious. Yeah. And it was a party, man. It was it was pretty sick. Hologram party. And we all had a fucking great time, dude. It was pretty sick, dude. They're like, all right, welcome to Fast and the Furious. Everybody get down one time. Oh, now everybody out. Hey, FBI, everyone out. No more fun. No more fun. Get out of here, uh, pit bull. Get out of here. It's a raid. <laughs> Look at chat going. Dude, Dude, I like the ratio. Chat, kind of a kind of a girl fest, chat. Yeah, it's a real clam party. There's like this three dudes. <laughs> yeah, I like these odds. There's three men in there. Dude, this lesbian bar's lit. This is sick, dude. This is a great time. I told you this was the best bar, dude. Girls night out. Horny and we're lazy. This was the worst ride ever. I, this was the best. You are out of it was touch. Amazing. You're out of your mind. You're best out of touch. Dude, we were laughing so hard on this. This was fucking hilarious. This is the greatest experience of my life. It made me want to watch the movie real bad. Real bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. Hologram Roman Pierce. Yeah. <laughs> In a so button sick. up with three different ladies. Stop right there, Roman Pierce. I don't know what the hell you're doing in here with all this partying. Put Down your hands up, you goddamn bastard. <laughs> oh, shit. Hose, please leave. Hose, please. And then um, the boys come out. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He was calling everyone Stink Pickle and Cookie Puss. It was the greatest thing ever. Listen here, shit pickle. <laughs> I don't much care for what's going on here. Oh, he's so hunky. Yeah, Vin. for some reason, he's a machine gun. Look at Vin, dude. Putting the guns out, dude. What'd I tell you, just Lou? Just chilling with his arms. Mm -hmm. Just the arms are just out. His arms rest on his biceps. Yeah, they're just, they, they flop to the sides. Dude, he's almost as big as Scott Steiner at this point. <laughs> <laughs> then they stare at you. Someone's got to have it uploaded. Oh, I love that ride. It was so good. So good. You get to see Vin Diesel fucking... Helicopter nuclear bomb comes out and he just jumps and grabs it and then 3D comes up and goes, don't worry, I got it. Oh no, they've launched a tactical nuke. <laughs> Dude, it was fucking hilarious. Let me pull that up. Fast and the Furious. Oh no, tactical nuke. Don't worry, I got it. Don't worry about it. I fucking got this shit. <laughs> the, the helicopter, um, so yeah. Guys, looks like right now we are taking... Oh, they're going to show the cookie puss part? Listen here, Cookie Puss Shit Pickle. They look good for a hologram. It's pretty good. Yeah, pretty it looked really good. And then the tram takes off. And you're like, wait a minute, fellas. How fast does this tram go? Yeah. Where are we going? Please put on your 3D glasses. It's about to get crazy. And see this thing take off. We'll get fraud. This is our time. <laughs> it's our time. It's our time. Dude, and then you're like, oh shit, this tram's going fast. <laughs> oh my god. It's like I'm in a video game. I thought this was dope, dude. This was awesome. 3D wraparound monitor. Oh, yeah. It was sick. The best part about this ride is how long it is. Yeah. Compared to like how long you wait in the line. Oh yeah, like I, she throws the thing on you and takes you go faster. Yeah, and they hit the nos and they start to slingshot you. I don't know what they no, did. They, they just they just blow wind at you, but yeah, it feels like, like you're going fast. Back and you feel like you're going. Oh, I'm in the back of my seat. Oh, we're going fast. Didn't Vin Diesel just crash that car into somebody? Yeah, but it's the fucking Torino. <laughs> it's fine. Dude, he just did a quick pit stop, and he's all good. That car hit a kickflip. Go about family! Family! <laughs> You'll never get away! And then he gets craned. Eat ass. Don't think I'm getting away! Oh! Dead. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was so funny, the fact that you're in a tram ride and it's going fucking 100 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. It's hilarious, dude. <laughs> Through the streets of downtown L.A. <laughs> This is the greatest ride ever. What do you? Who said this sucks? I'm so excited for Arc Two, man. <laughs> Look at how small that helicopter looks. Nobody Don't worry. Ever fit inside that. Like Dude, compared to Vin Diesel's body, like Don't we, worry. we can't even fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was worrying until Vin Diesel grabbed it. Yeah, then we knew we were safe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. He's in control. <laughs> Bro, you don't have anything. No, I got it. You're hanging on to a missile helicopter. He's like, oh, I'll just fucking suplex it in the air. I'll just overhead press this helicopter family. That's like a drone or like an RC helicopter, dude, like compared to the size of his body. I don't quite know how it works. I think I mistook the situation. I don't really think I got it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll figure it out. I think it's got me. I don't understand how him hanging off the helicopter is going to help the situation. <laughs> it's all about family, Lou. It's all about family. Just give me a minute. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Hit that nitrous. Hit the nitrous. And he got back into his car. Yeah, and he gets slow-mo? In there, but... Yeah, dude. <laughs> Nitro boosting a tram. Slingshotting the tram. Mm -hmm. You know, copyright DMCA. You know how it is. Hey, that, that is the best ride ever. I thought it was sick, dude. I thought it was super you know they dope. Could have added a little bit of drifting. Just a little bit. And played the Tokyo Drift song. Mm hmm. Just a little then bit. Then it would have been the absolute perfect Dude, ride. when your life's in, uh, you know, Vin Diesel's hands, it, you, you, it, you don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. It's worry. family. I got it. I the, can't wait for Fast and Furious. The Rock wasn't really in that. So no, much. he more did like the, like the pre-interview where it's like, Hey, there's a secret person on your tram that's a that's a it's a bad guy. And he goes, Hey, listen here, Cookie Puss. I'm gonna take you through this thing. You're gonna hear get here, stink pickle. That's about it. He does like the rockisms. Just a little rock that was intro. Great. It was awesome. I loved it. Uh, Every G second of it. Gene Vasco, Zell Berry's Cry Baby. Thank you guys so Thank much. You Thank you guys so very much. Now, chat, this is uh, the way Universal here in Hollywood is. It's you got the top floor where they got a few rides, and then you go down there, and there's like two and a half more rides down here. You go down like yeah. four escalators. But if you look at that, what's that? You guys see those green hills. Yeah. You know what that is? It's We're nice. finally getting uh, Super Mario. Nintendo Land. Mm -hmm. We're getting fucking Super Mario World. Nintendo Land. And it looks pretty decently sized, man. It looks comparable to what I saw from Japan. Mm -hmm. Right? You yeah. know what I didn't think about before is all the cool merch that will be at Nintendo Land. Oh, yeah, dude. Exclusive merch. Oh, yeah. We're getting a Mario. You can see that's going to be Bowser's Castle at the end. Yep. It's going to be sick, dude. It's going to be right there. And, and next year, this next thing year. will be built. Yeah. So there it is. It's cool because that this bottom floor of this theme park, dude, there's like nothing, man. It's like you got Mummy, Transformers, Jurassic. That's it. And a Panda Express. Yeah. It's like, wow. Thank you. Not a lot going on down here. Had to hit the Mummy. I've never did this ride before. Really? And this came out a long time One ago. thing. I wish we kind of went in the regular line for. There's a part where there's like a hole, and if you stick your hand in there, it scares the shit out of you. Oh, I, it like I have a bunch of air at your hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's in the ro that line, the right? Line. Yeah. Yeah, but we skipped that part. I was like looking for it. 65 minutes? Nah, we'll go right. We went right to the front. Right to the front. More like the express three pass. minutes. I'm telling you, dudes, save up to get the express. It is broken at this park. Disney fucks you in the ass. Some other people have different fast pass stuff. That Universal, it's broken. You just go to the ride. It's every worth time. the extra cost. Uh, if you're gonna do Universal Hollywood, do the Express Pass. You'll you'll be thanking me. Your your entire family will be thanking. Me. How much? If, I forget. Get, how I've much. been so sunburned, bro. Oh my god. I forget how much more. I think it's like sixty or seventy bucks. It's almost like buying two tickets. It's almost like two tickets. You're buy. You're buy. You're double buying. But, but your time is money, friend. It's standing money, around. Friend. I want to do that for the Halloween thing. Oh yeah, that would, oh, be, yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. And I know the Halloween. I think it's more 
expensive for the Halloween one. I think the Halloween one's like crazy. I think it's like two, three, Ooh. three hundo for the ticket. Yeah, like because the lines crazy. for the Halloween uh, mazes are like an hour to two hours oh. almost every time. Yeah, it's it's nuts. You want that Duff beanie? We got it at the theme park. Yeah, the, the Simpsons Land. Yeah, you might be able to get it on the Universal Studios website. Maybe, maybe mm-hmm. I'm not sure. There it is. There it is. 2023. 2023. There they are, the two. It's weird to see them down here. It's so weird. Over there used to be like the backdraft bullshit. Oh yeah. Like You're the, all right. the for this. That's so fire cool, the firefighter like show. Yeah, backdraft was so 90s. It didn't even hold up. And then, I don't think I've even seen the movie. Yeah. That means that the the water world's time is Short lived, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah they're gonna replace it very soon with yeah. some sort of uh, some new IP dr- comes around. DreamWorks shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then uh, we went to uh, the, uni- the Transformer ride, which is just dope. it's cool. It's dope as fuck. Yeah. Probably the best one there of all the experienced rides. It's definitely like the most budgeted, and it definitely feels like Michael Bay. I love that they do bullet time, and like your car is a mech. I, when the arms come up, yeah. and you realize, oh, the thing we're in has, like, giant robo-arms in yeah. the front. It had a fucking gun. Yeah. When it does a huge jump, it goes slow-mo. It's like, poof, poof. oh, I dude, it's so cool. I don't care for the design of Optimus Prime. Yeah. His face right. looks weird to me. The, they Not got red and blue. They didn't have yeah. to do, like, human lips for yeah, them, you know? Yeah, there's something about it. I'm okay with uh, Megatron being oh kind of God. crazy. Oh, yeah. But Optimus, I feel, could be more boxy. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I never had a problem with the way they looked. It was more, you're just dealing with Shia LaBeouf and Megan, Megan whatever Fox? in those movies. Yeah, it's Rest been a long piece, time. Bernie Mac, by the way. Bernie Mac, that's right. Bernie Mac? In the first one, he Very was really one. good. He was the car salesman yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, oh, wow. That's right. That was a good deep cut. Wow, Transformers was a while ago, man. Yep. We should watch those sometime for the movie commentaries. It'd be fun. That'd be great, yeah. I am Optimus Prime. And then... uh I mean, after that, we'd pretty much seen everything. Yeah, now we're just kind of like filling up with whatever our Express Pass could give us exclusive access to, right? It's just seeing shows. Once... This is a ride for the ladies. This, wait, what? This used well, to. You'll... This used to be a Shrek, 4D movie experience, yeah. And now it's Kung Fu Panda. I've never seen Kung Fu Panda, so I didn't quite understand what was going on. But I figured out it was just a kids' movie, so I just went along with it. Yeah, no glasses or anything. That's actually a pretty good movie. But interactive chairs, and we had beers with us by now. <laughs> we all went and got Duff beers. Which is and good. It's like Sam Adams. I got a cocktail. Yeah, it was good. We got tipsy, and then we went here, and we had these huge beers. And the guy, I was like, I remember seeing this as Shrek. And the guy at the front, I was like, this is a movie, right? He's like, it's a ride. I was like, so, but it's like a movie. He's like, it's a ride. I was it, like, well, we got these beers. He's like, no, you're fine. Just don't spill. Just don't spill. And we go in here and do these seats <laughs> are like this. And we're, all of us have our hands out going, oh, shit, we're fucking, uh, this is a ride. I thought it was a movie. And the guy's like, he told you it was a ride. And dude, we're don't going spill, through, don't spill. We're going through that thing. Dude, it was like the, the hardest thing to do is not spill that yeah. beer. I didn't even get to enjoy the ride because I'm just staring at my beer like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> and dude, my pussy was getting wet. The way it was vibrating, dude, that thing was crazy. And it's dude, it's cool because they right, she's gonna have a good time, Chad. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Don't think your legs do that right. They I looked up at Pops, and he was just like leaning over as he was shaking all crazy, trying to sip his beer, and I just fucking died laughing. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's cool because the screen goes all the way around. That is the coolest part: is the wraparound screen. Yeah, it's almost yeah. 360. It stops like right where you would never be able to look, but it's like. Dude, it, it cracks open that one yeah. part. It's it's pretty cool, man. A common theme with the Universal uh, rides is they try to get you super immersed. Yeah. So they're always spraying you with water. Water came water, out of nowhere. You're getting water Free on everything. Ride Every single water. ride. I'm like, oh, the water got in my beer. Yeah. Just always getting blasted. They would always spray me right in my mouth every time. <laughs> It's like they knew. <laughs> like, Come on, I want dysentery. Quit giving me this dirty water in my mouth, dude. <laughs> And water right in my mouth. It always went in my mouth. And um, like when we did the Jurassic Park ride, we did that drop. Got fucking soaked. Oh, at Waterworld? Yeah. Water yeah. Awesome. We're, getting, we're getting Waterworld later. Jeff was smart enough to actually wear a jacket. So Waterproof. he was just always completely dry. Yeah. We're getting fucking soaked, dude. But I'm sure he was hot as fuck. Yeah, he had, so, to, he had to pay the price one the way. The trade off, you know, the trade off. Wet on the inside. 
But that ride was better too. Jurassic Park, the update. Now that's Jurassic, Jurassic World. World. Uh, the animatronics much needed much update. Better. My God, they were so shitty back in the day, dude. Yeah. They just you can like hear the gears and stuff. There's like three T Rexes on it now instead of just one, too. Terminator's it's gone. What was Terminator? Oh, it was Terminator Salvation or something? Like yeah, it was like a 4D there. ride, I think. Was that where that might have yeah. actually been Six Flags, wasn't it? Well, I, don't I, don't know. Know. I don't remember Terminator being T two. So there, there was a T two ride. What, that's right. what took over Terminator? Uh, Transformers. Probably was that what that this. was? Huh. I think T two was like a movie ride, kind of like this one. I never went on it, so I don't know. Nothing's... I wish I could. Have. That's my favorite movie. Saw Scooby Doo. He's popping off. It's good Scooby Doo. It's weird to see such skinny little arms in that dog. He's chilling. And then uh, yeah, yeah, we were just hitting up whatever it was. This Here. was the Minions Despicable minions. Me. Yeah. I actually really like this ride. Not a fan of those Minions, but... Ride I'd, number three, Despicable Me 3 with Trey Parker. Ride was wasn't bad. I've never, I had never seen any of them. Ride wasn't too bad. It was alright. A little 3D experience. And then... This ride sucked. The Secret of Pets. Secret of Pets? I mean, if you liked the movie, it'd be great, but did you notice that Wiener Kingdom is in the Louis C.K. ride? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, Wiener Kingdom. <laughs> Louis C.K.'s character wants to go to Wiener Kingdom Dude, real bad. Downward dog. Doggy style, baby. It's not Louis C.K., it's um, Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt, I know. He got first replaced. First Louis C.K., yeah, Less yeah. threatening Patton Oswalt. How many secret yeah, pet... he can't pull his wiener out on anybody. How many secret pet movies were there? I'm going to say two. Yeah, no. Oh my god. This then is we, the best part. Then we saw Water World, dude. I forgot about this, right? The water, water experience. Water World live stunt show. Stunt show. Jet ski stunt show. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. This was fucking hilarious. It's like they have a bunch of actors from such random various different things get together to do like three of these a day. Hey, I'm yeah. uh I'm from the stunt team of uh everyone loves Earl. And uh, Hollywood Horror Stories or whatever. American Horror Story. I think there was one from... Dude, I can't even remember. There's yeah. so many fucking shows. I was done double for Brendan Fraser. They're like, like what? the guy from Monkey Glee. Bubble. The guy from Glee is here. And everyone's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. And then like the guy from Bones is here. Remember Yay. Bones? Yeah. And Season three. The girl from uh, is a girl from Grey's Anatomy. She's the water princess. And the guy that does the voice of Homestar Runner. Homestar Runner. Homestar Runner, everybody. Remember the show Bones? No. Nobody does. It's so weird he brought up Homestar Runner. I was literally watching it like three days ago. <laughs> um, showing the boys. It's but yeah, it's a stunt show. So there's like they're acting to like a timed out audio play. It's impressive. And they've got to be on their mark, but they're throwing punches and they're they're just doing like run and gun like, and then like doing actor punches, but the sounds like, ah damn you! And they have to like act like they're saying it. It's it's really funny, man. Um, and every part of the crowd had like their own assigned little. Uh, Area. Marine, marine mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was just spraying people with those big super soakers and buckets of water and shit. Dude, he, that fucking. He sprayed this one kid right in his <laughs> fucking face and he was so pissed. The they fucking, warn you. The guy from Glee got me so bad. He was in the front of our section with the gun. I was like, starting to talk to Kelly and I wasn't paying attention and it just, dude. I felt it go right in my eyes. Like he had a water gun, like the, one of those noodles. It was like a straight shot right for the guy in front of us. And I had nobody in front of me. And it was just like all in my eyelids and my eyes. I was like, <laughs> ah, the water world water burns. God, he wants it's the worst. For, uh, you know, listening to his monologue. At first I was like, cool. No one's in front of me. My, my legs can stretch out. Yeah. No, he basically get hit with double the water when the fucking guy from Bones skids out on his jet ski uh, and sends a tidal wave on the crowd. They're like, if you're in a seat that is green, you're going to get wet, folks. Most definitely and they don't wet. tell you that before. We're like, oh, shit. Oh, we're in the dead center of green. We're green. <laughs> we're big green. And it was like a nice yeah. sunny day, but it was also very breezy and cold. Dude, yeah, a lot as of soon as we got wet, I was like, oh, man, this is great, man. Water world's fucking dope, dude. It's fucking sick, man. Yeah, it's that weird blue water, that yeah. chemical-infused blue water. Toilet water. Bromine water. <laughs> <laughs> the goggles, they do nothing. <laughs> we were in the splash zone, man, getting fucked.
And then we saw a little animal planet show. This was cute. They got a bunch of random shows like this at the park where it's like, come watch uh, animals that were in Bruce Almighty fly around. That Dude, we saw two owls from fucking Harry Potter. Yeah, that owl was in Harry Potter. And you're like, holy shit. Whoa. Animal actors. Cool. DDs. Like, this dog was in Cruella. This Dalmatian mm. was in Cruella, folks. And this now... little boy. There's, <laughs> like, cats running around here. Yeah, there's a b bunch of hijinks. Um, and then uh, they were letting people go up to do demonstrations. So, like, we need someone. We need a volunteer who wants to volunteer. And they called this kid up. He's like, my name's Daniel from Indiana. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> they tell him to go face down, ass up, and he stays there for like 20 While minutes. While they're explaining the entire premise. And like these animals are jumping over him and stuff, and he's just face down, yeah, ass doggy up. Doggy style, baby. They're like he's just an downward dog. Yeah, like just stay doggy style there, Daniel. And all these times. <laughs> I was like, this poor bastard's got this fucking... <laughs> fucking flew all the way to Indiana to be fucking <laughs> mounted by other dogs. He just flew in from Indiana. I'm having a great time here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Well, we want you face down ass All up. right, well, prepare for this one. This dog's going to jump over you. Oh, it didn't work, so let's do it again. No, 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 don't get up. No, no, stay there, stay, Daniel. Stay, stay, and they grabbed stay. it. He tried <laughs> stay. He tried to get stay. up. Like, my back's starting to hurt. They're like, stay. Stay. He's like, okay, I guess I'll, I guess I'll stay down here. Yeah, here's a treat. Then pick your ass up. He's like, whoa! Oh my, my butt thing. My butt thing, dog. <laughs> and the dog's ringing bells behind him, and he's like, I hear bells behind me. What's going on? <laughs> my knees starting to hurt. My knees are starting to hurt. That's a good boy there. The whole good show. boy. Now shut the fuck up. Yeah, he actually missed the show because he's just staring at the floor and an audience. <laughs> <laughs> of a lot of people, like 500 plus Dude, people. imagine going to an animal show and you're just, you're just like <laughs> staring at the audience the whole time. Stay. And you're like, what's going on? Everyone's, everybody's clapping. Why is everyone laughing? Why is everyone laughing? I hear jokes, but I don't see them. Like the poor bastard from Indiana had no idea it was oh, coming, man. His whole family came. No, I guess his grandparents out here. Oh, Everybody, the whole family's excited for this. And he's just... Oh man, then they got him. They got him with the ultimate got him here. Yeah, They're the like, dog okay. does him dirty, dude. Like, all right, we're gonna fucking. This, this dog was a bad dog. The like, finale, the finale, oh, it's no. coming, it's coming. Here, here it comes. Dog's gonna run through the thing and then he's gonna jump over Daniel. Daniel, stay down. Stay down there, Daniel. And the dog ran over here and fucking, dude, Didn't you. Give a I'm fuck. not kidding, dude. This thing came over here and fucking pissed on him. Oof. <laughs> <sighs> Sucks to be you, man. Sucks Sucks all to be these you. People. Like we don't this know. For volunteer, right in his face. We too. don't know what went wrong. This dog's this dog's in a Chewy commercial. Uh, he's in Bruce Almighty. Yeah, he, he was uh, he was the dog in fucking <laughs> Beethoven Five. And uh, this fucking poor bastard, wow. dude. He got pissed on. The dog's like, bitch. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. I mean, they do gave you? him a free pen. Yeah, he got like a little badge of honor. Yeah. Hollywood D's nuts. <laughs> yeah. He got Doggy it. Dog World. But all in all, chat, it was a good it was a good day. It was a good time. It was cool to see the Harry Potter stuff. I guess we could try the treats out. Your oh, boys yeah. your boys were out there. Ow. Looks like you're eating Jeff's ass there. <laughs> well, so. I mean that's what <laughs> oh, I love Wiggum. Chief Wiggum. And we were chilling oh. with fucking Millhouse, dude. Where Big else can chillin'. you take a photo with Millhouse? Big chillin'. Thugged out on the street with my boy Millhouse. Thrill ho. <laughs> Eating ass. Dude, this kid. <laughs> I was, dude, we were laughing got so em. hard. What a got him, man. Got shit on. What a got him, man. Millhouse, three feet tall. Yeah. yeah. How old is he? He's supposed to be like, what, 10 years old or something? Eight years old? Um, Let's try some of these uh, chocolates oh, or yeah. candies, shall we? So, I'll let you guys see what we got here. The chocolate frog. Let you start the chocolate frog okay. up. I'll start off these caramel cobwebs. And don't worry, Louie. We'll, we'll save you some so you could try them hey, as well. Hey, I'm not worried, baby. You should be worried. I'm worried a little bit. I'm a little bit worried. Oh, did we well, get I'm not the... doing it on camera, so I gotta eat the We didn't get the, the jelly beans, did we? No. I didn't see I that there was so. anything oh. good about them. Like they, they, it's the it's bandage stuff. Were they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, half of them are bandage and yeah. half of them are regular. Oh, yeah. well, I'm fucking glad I didn't grab those. Puke and shit flavored. I don't That's want That's why I refuse no, to no. get it. No, I'm good. I've before when I was a kid on, like, the school bus and shit. We've had plenty of those already. You know what I mean? 
I've had plenty. With my They're way less bad than the Bean Boozled ones. Those are way worse. Ugh. Bean Boozled are, uh, will wreck your shit up. All right, let's try these. There's another Harry Potter ride, a Harry Potter ride in Orlando. I didn't know that. Oh, it was the second one. What's it called? Gringotts Bank. Oh, dude, the bank ride. Oh, oh fuck. yeah, that'd be sick. That would be sick. Let me see that frog. I gotta show off the frog once you get it going. All right. Wow, this thing's got a big mouth. <laughs> it builds up quick. I can, even though it's completely airtight sealed, I could smell the chocolate. You smell the milk chocolate seeping through the seams. This is. I want to know what kind of chocolate it tastes like. It's milk chocolate. Giant Easter bunny. Giant Easter Kid. Easter bunny, but so solid, like rock solid. Gross, gross chocolate, not like high tier. No, it's pretty. It's kind of dog shit. I'll show you guys. That's a weird ass looking frog. It's got a big mouth. And it's got it's got dick vein going down the middle. Oh yeah! It's got those it's ridges special going. Special brand. Look at that. Completely flat in the underside. Just try to break that in half. Let's see if I can break his head. Yeah, try to. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his leg. Yeah. Oh, something broke. Oh, there we go. I got a piece of a toe. Okay, that's good. Don't worry, I I have clean hands. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just milk chocolate. I just completely manhandled that whole thing. <laughs> I bet that's like the waxiest it's, chocolate. It's a hundred percent the Easter Bunny giant, yeah. like whatever milk chocolate. Low tier milk chocolate, just solid. Not bad, but like I was $12. expecting it to be like filled with like caramel or something, something to kind of like break up the monotony of just a giant rock of chocolate. Uh, yeah. It might be good for melting down and like making a sauce out of, but it also comes with a trading card. <gasps> That's the big pog. That's thing. the big pog, dude. It's a limited edition foil. Oh, we got like a painting get... lady. Mm -hmm. It's um. What? Artemi Artemisia 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 Lufkin. Lufkin. Ooh, a Lufkin foil. Ooh. Lufkin these nuts Whoa. says. <laughs> Look at that, wow. and she moves. Oh, yes, I'm lady. Lufkin, he's not. Really oh, read your lore in the back. Read your lore in the back. NFT, it has lore in the fucking back of the card, too. Look at that. Whoa, celebrating Women's Month. The it, first woman of magic of mystery. Uh, it reads, in 1798, Artemisia Lufkin was the first witch to become the minister for magic. Wow. A Hogwarts NFT. My kind of lady. And she moves. Yeah. Well, I'm scared of this thing. Is she going to talk in the middle of the night? <laughs> I see what you're doing over there. Actual NFT. Pretty sick, dude. Popping off big time. Dude, I got to eat how many frogs to collect them all? I'm going to get diabetes. So how much chocolate is this? this that's is a lot. I ate that toe and I'm like, yo, that's enough. Six ounces of rock hard chocolate. Fuck. Fuck. That's way too much. Let me play the Harry Potter GBA soundtrack. Contains milk and soy. Whoa, soy. Next up, caramel flavored bites. What are these? The, the cobwebs? Caramel bites. Oh, I should also crack these bonbons open. We kill this. <laughs> soy boys. Tune. This is magical music here. Okay, let's try these uh, cobweb caramel circles. Ah. Artemisia! Artemisia! Hi, chat. <clears throat> Chupa, thank you, dude, for the 42 hey, months, Chupa, my man. Dude. Well, man. I played so much Elden Ring, I lost all my physical, real life strength. Same. That's why I'm stacking games. Can't even break a frog or a cobweb at this point. Hey, Lou, have you seen Jackass 4 on Paramount Plus? That sounds like an advertisement. I actually just watched it last night. Oh, and really? I have to say, probably my least favorite Jackass movie, but still really fucking good. I thought 3D kind of sucked, personally. I think 3D is better than the newest one, for sure. Ooh, these are soft. It smells like a candle. Oh, it does smell like a candle. I think it's better than the original show on uh, MTV, though. It tastes like a candle. But the problem with it is they couldn't do as much uh, pranking on the public because of the COVID shit. So it kind of not the same vibe as much. It's like milk chocolate and maple. I'll show you guys. Should I get my face out of it? Will it focus? Will it focus? Will it focus? 
It doesn't want to focus on these caramel squares. These, dude, these straight up. There you go. They smell. Ugh. And taste like fucking candle. Ugh. Oh god, it really doesn't want it. It really doesn't want it. Come they just got cobwebs on like chip milk chocolate. Get rid of my face. It doesn't want it. It doesn't want to focus. Pretty mid at best. Pretty mid, dog. There. Check it out, dude. The cobwebs on it. It's got like maple, oh, go. maple, and like uh, white chocolate. Looks good. Hmm. I don't I don't get magical one. vibes from it so much, but it ain't bad. What do you got? I got the exploding bonbons. Exploding bonbons, eh? Orange and pineapple flavored bonbons. Mmm, mmm. Tastes just like wax. Orange chocolate, everybody. Is it really gonna be fucking orange? Orange and uh, pineapple. Oh, God. Let's do it. Oh, it's like a um, cactus cooler. It's like a guitar pick. Yeah, that other thing was just like a guitar pick. And same consistency. Oh no, orange. It's just pure white. Ew. Ew. What the fuck? These smell like fucking candles, dude. It's just a white blob of nothing. Is it gonna? Does it have orange goo in the middle? No, it's like styrofoam. Put it in your mouth and eat it. Quit being a bitch. Oh, it's crunchy. In the oh, oh, it's orange crunches in the middle. It's better of the three. But really, like, if you have fillings, this thing will annihilate your teeth. Actually, um, actually oh. good for an orange candy? Not bad. It's a pineapple. A pineapple? Oh, yeah, that is pineapple. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is actually the best one, the exploding bonbons, dude. Mm. But the fucking stuff in the middle will fucking yeah, destroy crunchy. your teeth. Crunchy. Yeah. Those are the better of the three. Oh. Ah. Yeah, yeah, I told you. Ah, I warned ah, you. Oh, I found it. I warned you. Oh. My dentist is going to be like, the fuck did you do? I hit an exploding bonbon. I went to Harry Potterland. <laughs> Help me. Miss McGonagall made me eat her chocolate. You made your teeth rot away. It's like white chocolate, and then on the inside, it's like a... It's like a, a, a lozenge. Yeah, it's not. It's like a fucking. Um, I was expecting like pop rocks or something. Uh, it's stuck in my fucking teeth. Yeah. Yeah, it's a straight up lozenge. It's a sucker. You don't want to chomp. You gotta suck. Don't chomp. It's like a lozenge without the menthol in it or whatever. Rated with in association of the American Dental Association. Yeah, that'll destroy your teeth. Next up, we're gonna try some of this. Ooh, what's this? The fizzies. This is the one I picked out. Fizzle bees. Fizzing whiz bees. Everybody's favorite. Uh, chocolate fizzy fruit. Let me try it. I'll open that one while you uh, show off the other one. This is going to be a, a pop in your mouth kind of thing. And then um, other than that, we got this one as well. Fudge flies. I don't know exactly what they're going to look like, but we got fudge flies. Chocolate fav flavored flies. 10 out of 10 Ooh. packaging. Yeah, they, they make you feel like you're in a candy store. Yeah, the marketing's really good. Oh, I don't know. You guys want to eat? Louie, you want to eat some of these flies? I'll save you some, I mean, dude. I'll, these smell I'll, I'll good. I thought you were just going to throw them through the ether. These smell good. How much for all these candies? I think it was like 70 Way bucks, Way too dude. much. Um, let's try a fizzing Wisby. Wisbees smell good. Like, think of how much good candy we could have got at, like, C's Candy for $70. Yeah. yeah. Wait, a Wisby's a, a fly it's... also? Or a bee? Yeah, it's, it's a, a bee. bee. Queen bee candy. Okay, let's do it. All right, I'm going to chomp the thorax. I'm going to eat its ass. For the big deece. Hope you, uh... Oh, these smell good. Is there a gummy worm in here? Are these chocolate gummies? These are good. Yo. This is what I was expecting these to be. This is the best one. Yeah. The, this is what I thought the bonbons were going to be. Wow. Yeah, these got pop rocks in them. It's popping in my mouth. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Chocolate with pop rocks. That sounds fucking awesome. Oh, ASMR channels. You guys need to get in on this. Can you guys hear Don't it? Worry, Hold on. Chat, I'll try it when I come over. Hold on. Chat, can you hear it popping in our mouths? Can you guys hear it? You Can hear you guys it? hear it popping off in my mouth? Do you hear my mouth, pussy? 
<laughs> this is what good mouth pussy sounds like. <laughs> no, I can't hear it. Keep going. <laughs> Yo, you those can are, hear it. Those are actually. Those are actually really good. Oh, God. It's popping off so much in the mouth, dude. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I got it. It won't stop. It's My throat is favorite. <laughs> and then when you do this, it really gets the. Get the pop rocks popping off, dude. God, okay, it's, it won't stop. It's really going like too much now. It needs, Yo, what it the needs fuck to chill. are Pop Rocks? He needs to chill right now. ASMR, they need to get in on that, dude. Yo, good pick on those, Lou. Those are the best ones. And really? Then, um, yeah. <clears throat> oh, I forgot about that one. Now, I made the grave mistake of not listening to the guy <laughs> when he told me <laughs> what not to do. Come on, camera, focus. Trying to get my face out of it. The cameras, there we go. We got Harry Potter luck potion, the luck build. Now he you gave me he gave me instructions, and he said, "Whatever you do, don't drink this thing out of the bottle like a shot. What? You gotta." And then it kind of I forgot what he said. It's not urine, but I think he said pour it into like another glass and take a little sip. Okay, I got a he cup here. He also said either dilute it in water or mix it with tea. Is what he said. I remember. That's what? what he said. Dilute it. You know what's fucked up? Yeah. They don't tell you anything on the tag. Oh, I saw a kid go, Hey, I want extra luck today. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, fuck. Ah! The guy was like... Dude, you know what I forgot to talk about? It was Moaning Myrtle, dude. Oh, we'll oh, talk oh, about it. Oh, we're getting there, Lou. We'll get there. Um, This was like... I think he was like, yeah, drinking this is like drinking the fucking... Also, it is shaped like an ass plug. Like, let's be real. It's shaped like it goes in a person's anus. Here, I'll let you pour that out. All right, I know what that let me get out, get out the fudge flies as well. I think it'll be like drinking, um, like the bird, the, the oil for like those diffusers. Like it's, super concentrated. It's corn syrup, invert syrup, water, potassium sorbate. It's a preservative. Artificial flavoring, alcohol, propethylene glycol, water, artificial flavors. Again, it's just a bunch of crap. It's, it's all just vape juice, baby. It's all chemicals. Is there any actual food in that thing? Um, uh, it, it may contain peanuts, tree nuts, milk, egg, wheat, and soy. Yo, save me some. I'm going to put it in my vape when I come over and try to vape it. No, no dude, you're going to die of luck. <laughs> Pops, you want a fudge fly? It looks just like a yeah. fly. Fudge flies. How about that? We got fudge flies, boys. There you go. Do it. Do it. I'm going to show you guys what the fudge fly looks like. It's all in the marketing. It's all in what it looks like. You know what I mean? Ugh. Well, you guys have got stuff in your mouth. I got to say, I love oh. the new Jackass. Just not as much as the other ones. But, dude, that Zach guy, I'm so glad he got added into the, the roster, oh. man. He's a good dude. Zach fucking killed it in that movie. And the new uh, Poopsie guy was really good. And the girl that did all the stuff, too. She was fucking dope. Ugh. Better chocolate than the frog. It's it's chalky, it's bland, it's just bad chocolate. These taste like well, um, hot chocolate chocolate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like cocoa powdery, chalky. Yeah. Like, a br like a brownie almost. Ugh, those are gross. Um, so, yeah. I'm trying not to get luck all over myself. Last thing we have is the the fly or the, the luck potion. But yes, there was a... Ugh! Smell this! Smell it and tell me what you think. Oh, dude, I want to smoke that shit, dude. It smells like jasmine tea or something. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it smells like a perfume. Ugh. And we're going to drink perfume? <laughs> Look. That's so weird. It just smells like a uh, really clean, like cleaning product. Just a drop. Don't get on your mic. Oh, whoa, it's gooey. Oh, it's coming. I got to get a little glass or something. Oh, oh let me grab a coming. glass real quick. Yo, big D. Thank you. Oh, it smell. It's got like... It's got like that alcoholic smell that perfume has. You know what I'm talking about? You want know to like take a big whiff of perfume? Ugh. Yeah, baby. I Ugh. breathe in perfume all day. Smells like your mom. Oh. 
it you smells, like, shot? smells like glucose. Awesome. Yeah, let's do this. There we go. All right, let's do it. Shot of uh, luck potion. So, you know, you drink the whole thing, you become, like, unstoppably lucky. But if we take a sip, probably have something, like, cool happened today. I just want a 5% crit buff, you know what I'm saying? Real-life potions, dude. Let me try a little bit of a uh, Felix. What could go wrong? Well, I could get explosive diarrhea. Felix is just a little drop. Oh, my God. So much comes out. Oh, it smells like glue and, like, perfume. This is so weird to be drinking a candy like this. You got a lid for me? I don't yeah. want to get yeah. luck all over the place. <laughs> I want to get lucky everywhere. I want to just do a little dab. Um, you're gonna do your? Did you do? Are you gonna do a last dab? Oh, dude, it looks like thick water. All right, just I'm gonna. Did you wait? What'd you? Did you try it? Oh, I tried it. to do a little, dilute it with water, but I had too much water, I think. All right, cheers. Cheers. That's gross. I don't like how you're doing it off your finger. Come on, Flask of Wondrous Physique. Grant me the greatest luck buff that there ever fucking was. It's like so slow, dude. It's like glue. <laughs> it's coming, baby. Coming. Coming. It would be good in tea. That's like a replacement for like honey or something? It's like jasmine. Yeah, it's flowery and... I don't know, man. Oh, it was $20! <laughs> Do you feel lucky? No! No, I feel unlucky. I feel like I had a lot of misfortune in my purchase. Yeah, I, I had a lot of bad ideas. That's oh. gross. He told you to mix it. Okay, I'll mix it with my LaCroix. No, don't! Ooh, Lucky LaCroix. I'll get this luck bubbles. Bubbling luck. Dude, put it in the soda stream, bro. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah, that, now, now you're talking. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. You know, just, you know, a little bit of bubbles down the hatch. Yeah, I can see it being okay with some, like, tea. It, it's like a substitute for, like, honey or something. Like, type of syrup. <laughs> that was horrible. That was awful. I don't like it. I wonder if there's the some... flies were the best thing. I wonder if there's somebody who has like an annual pass that go there every week to pick up a new bottle for their tea. Oh, do you have a fresh batch of your luckiest elixir? Ugh, I think I got negative. We're just so obsessed with Harry Potter that they're like, it's good. It's good, yeah. It's what we drink every day. Oh, that's gross. A little dollop of that in my coffee? Mm-mm. <laughs> Terrible. No. I gotta go shit that stuff out here. <clears throat> oh, I feel like I got so much shit wrong going on inside my <laughs> stomach now. But... Louis, you bring up a good point. We um, went to the bathroom in Harry Potter land. And um, while we're there, they stay true to the Harry Potter world. And it is, it's themed so. And if you remember the movies, there's a ghost girl living in the bathroom. And that's, what was her name? Moaning Myrtle? Yeah. She's in there and she's moaning. Moaning Myrtle? Do they have? <laughs> it's disgusting. You're in there. Really fucking weird, man. People are shitting. There's like people dropping big turds, and we're all pissing because we had to, we had to piss out that shitty breakfast. People had to. We had diarrhea. We had to shit. Dude, this and, guy um, shit smelled so bad I couldn't stop laughing. Louis was, Myrtle was talking. Louis giggling. We're in this bathroom. I have all the sounds here to make you through and make you make you feel like. You're, yeah, so we're in there, and they have you have all these sounds. It sounds just like this. I'll give you guys the ASMR experience. Turn your sound up. We're in there. And Moaning Myrtle is in the stall, and she is just letting it rip. And she's and she's going. And we're like, I can't believe this is actually fucking happening right now. <laughs> I mean, feeling some type of way, I'm not gonna lie. Ew, wee, 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 wee. I'm like, why is she doing like baby talk while we're all trying to shit in piss? It was magical poop. Someone's like, God damn, it smells like shit in here. I'm like, well, yeah, it's a bathroom. 
I mean, what are, what are people supposed to be? You guys are serving breakfast. The bacon tastes like shit. I don't know what the fuck's going on with the eggs. The potatoes are wet. The croissant's wet. Everything's wet. It's going to fly through people. Soggy. Oh, dude. It was it was horrible. Well, Louis, you, I know you weren't done pissing. And Louis was just, I, I can see in the corner of my eye, Louis' face is bright red laughing. And he's like, I gotta leave. <laughs> he wasn't even done. I, uh, we went to the bathroom and Louis, me and him were trying to get out as soon as possible. And Louis is, Louis's Louis, right? It smells like a guy's just making the hottest, smelliest shit. And Louis's like, big poops. <laughs> like, big loud. And the guy's just blowing the biggest, shittiest crap I've ever smelled. And Louis starts gagging. <laughs> like, I was actually gonna throw up. It was so bad. Oh my God. And the poor guy who's probably having the worst shit of his life has this guy going, Big poops <laughs> and, and <laughs> mo moaning Myrtle's in there. She's bubbling. giggling and fucking oo wooing it up. It's disgusting. And I don't know why, but they also have like these kind of <laughs> these kind of sounds. Oh yeah, yeah. This. Yeah, this, this is what it sounded like. 100. Like, and you, yeah, and you hear. I'm like, I'm mixing a potion over here. I can't fucking stand this shit. <laughs> and this guy's in the bathroom having the sweatiest shit. Oh, He's like, God, fuck. get me out of here, please. <laughs> please let this horror end. Why did I drink the whole luck potion? Oh, God. <laughs> the guy told me not to drink it like a shot. But I fucking kicked it back and chucked the whole thing. I wanted to be lucky today. There's a video. What? No way. No, oh, shot. Moaning Myrtle restroom. <laughs> Mo moaning Myrtle bathroom <laughs> at. It's the second one. Wow, someone filmed their. <laughs> I, we can't show it though. We'll get banned like Dr. Disrespect. We can't show a bathroom. We'll get banned, but we could listen to this. Someone's filming the, the men's restroom. Inside the magic. Someone filmed the bathroom and uploaded this to YouTube. And they that put, is so weird. they put, uh, they wrote here, since Moaning Myrtle is found in the Wizarding World restrooms in an audio form only, I didn't want to capture anything inappropriate while recording this. So I pointed my camera upward. Still <laughs> weird, dude. You're still recording in the bathroom. Still weird, but I that's... only recorded my own penis. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You hear that fart? It's like the noisiest fucking thing you ever heard. I'm like, how is <laughs> it? was a magical experience. I will say that. I've never uh, oh, used. Oh, fucked up all the sensors in that place too, man. Like, it was sensory walk from the hands or anything. Yeah, how am I supposed to get anything done? I, I gotta handle my business and I can't go in it. Jesus, Ouch. this guy's. This guy's Ouch! This guy's blowing it up, this man. This guy's doing blood pudding farts over here. A shy pooper. In a way, it's like, oh, these sounds would coat the the empty noise, so my farts won't stick out so much. Right, yeah. But no it's one a can lot tell of, it's me. It's a lot of pressure just as ghost girl go. Dude, imagine Ooh. they had her like on a TV screen in the toilet and you're like taking a shit. She just pops up and starts talking to you. Oh, someone make farty warties. <laughs> um, NKL, uh, that's just too much Chipotle. Hey, man. Stuff is worse than Chipotle, man. I mean, uh, you know, you know, emergencies happen, you know. But having to shit at a fucking uh, fucking theme park, man. Why don't you Ooh, shit before you go? Just shit before you go, man. Shit before you go. Why is shit there? Yeah, just. I mean, sometimes you can't help it. That 
Those wet eggs. Sheesh. Oh, God, it was awful, man. Oof. And then we uh, we left and we ate at the Habit. Because <laughs> we yeah, wanted real we wanted real food. <laughs> and it was windy as shit, and Louie got a bunch of mayonnaise on his lap. <laughs> oh, that was fucked it up. It wasn't mayonnaise, it was ranch dressing. Louie got a bunch of ranch all over him. <laughs> to be fair, I kind of wanted the ranch all over me anyways. Yeah, it was windy as shit, and we're just eating burgers and like... Fucking 50 Burger mile though. winds. It was, it was a good time. I think it man. flew up and hit some other people, though. That was yeah, it did. Funny. Yeah. yeah. It hit a family of four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were mad, too. Hell races. The stream is uh, sponsored by Poo Rilla's prune laxatives. <laughs> they work 100%. Take a load off today. And Bobby Brown, Louie, the darkness is so thick I could taste it. So thick. Uh, have you seen thick. the Jurassic World Velocity Coaster in Universal? So there's other rides at the Orlando Universal, right? Let me it's pull so up. not fair, dude. Harry Potter Universal Orlando ride. What's the other one called? Gaba something with a G. Gaba Boo. Every ride. Gr OPLV. Gringotts. Gringotts. Escape from Gringotts. Yes. Full experience. Full experience. Gringotts. Damn, this wow, shit looks nice. Wow, theirs is way better. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you guys better. know right now. Yours is better. If yeah, Orlando, in, you win. If you're in Florida, this shit already looks better. Look Orlando, at the you got it. Look at the bend. In yeah, the I like building. it. The abstract. Ooh. Whoa, that's awesome! All right, you yeah. guys got it better than us. They got the albino dragon blowing fire on top of the bank. Can we just say it? If you want the real experience, go to go to Florida, dude. That's go to Florida. Better. Go to Florida, 100. percent 100% go to Florida, dude. This is a cool area. But, you know, Universal Hollywood has all the real sets. I don't know how many movies are filmed in Florida. Maybe a lot. I don't fucking know. It's oh. got so much space out there. Yeah, oh, that, that swamp, extra land. That swamp land. Florida built different. Yeah. The bank was so cool in the movie. I could see this being a really dope ride. The chandelier school. Yeah. Look at that. See this is line? The See this express. line we're walking in? This is the express experience. Welcome to the express lane, baby. Look at all these people. Didn't, yep. Didn't order wait. it. It's going to be 90 minutes. Wait. Pathetic. And you just express right to the front. Right to the front of the brink. Right to the front, boy. Would it cost 10 times more to build the same thing in California? 100%. You know. Ooh, and they got dudes over there actually working. Little bank tellers. And they're actually doing stuff. Are they? Cool. Yeah, they gotta be animatronics. Someone's gonna sit there all day. Oh, yeah. That fast pass. Look at film. Don't film the people who didn't <laughs> get the fast pass. It's mean. <laughs> Don't show them off like, look at all these suckers waiting. What's well, great oh is when God, you're in the fast like pass penis. line, the express line or whatever, you get to enjoy the line without having to sit there and get tired of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I uh, love the, the face of the troll that looks like he just smelled a turd. Wow, that, that looks guy. just like him. Yeah, it looks really good. Next. You both farts in that guy. He loves it. Fart in that troll's face. He'll do whatever you say. I like that little guy fits right in the frame. Ah! His whole body fits right in the frame. Oh, yeah. Do you go down? It do go down? It do. It do go down. Nope, this is the express lane. Just express lane, through. baby. Walking right to the front. Coming through. Yo, dank you think of the hundred biddies. And like pies. Yes, we will go to Nintendo Land once yes. it's here. That yep. would be awesome. I would love that. R.I.P. to the inventor of the gift today? Really? Oh no. Damn. Damn. R.I.P. to the legend. Well, you know what? He'll live on forever in every animated emote on Twitch. Yeah. And you know, all gifts ever. Wow, it's like Rob. If it wasn't, GIFs were like the first like video you could really watch on the internet back in the day. I remember downloading uh, Dragon Ball Z, like Macromedia and GIFs all the time when I was a kid. Watching episodes in GIF format? Wow, TV in GIF format. Mm hmm. You it's a like picture? a real bank. Oh, you can take actual pictures in there. While you wait. Cool. I mean, it looks like a bank. How long is the line, dude? They make these lines preparing for like two hour, three hour it's lines. Long back there. Oh, it's Harry Potter talking about the plot. He's got the plot all wrong. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. You stand there and listen to the whole thing. Blardak. Blardak? 
Okay, so this is actual like coaster style. Yeah, it's in the in the mine area. Ooh. Well, that's cool. That's really cool. It's like haunted mansion. Cool. Yeah, that's dope. <clears throat> that was really well, fucking cool. not cooler. Check out the train too. Damn man, you guys got way better shit in Orlando. So this buys them some time to get rid of the next people. Mm -hmm. Then you're going through you're going the tunnels. What's oh, a 3D experience? 3D. This is not motorcycle. This is Gringotts. Yeah, we watched the motorcycle one already. Then you go upstairs. Whoa, look at that. Okay, it's like Transformers Z probably too, right? Of the 3D? Yeah, coaster with 3D glasses. And not the best thing to coaster. film, but... Cool, there they are popping off, farting in the troll's face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to really see it here, but you gotta have the 3D glasses. Sorry about all that. No, let me see. Get out of here. 3D glasses suck when you already have to wear glasses to read. Oh my god, I bet. They're like tight wraparounds yeah. too. They don't give you any more you see. Always the Dementors. Actually fucking sick, dude. That's oh, all that's 3D cool. screen. This is all screen. Fucking dope. That's yeah, it is. Super sick. Oh, the knights? Yeah, the Dark Souls knights. Just like the movie! Beautiful. Expect no patroller! Oh, I got you, boss. <gasps> the dragon! The dragon with the bell, the ding 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 Squirts him. Oh, squirts. And they squirt you. They always get squirted on. It ain't a ride at Universal unless you get wet at least oh, once. Yeah. Leviosa! There we go, Saw. Continuous the Rido. There he goes. Go that way. Keep farting in my mouth. <laughs> Is that Rudy Giuliani? <laughs> Small Giuliani. Uh oh. Something's breaking through. That's going to be the dragon. The dragon. The hell? <gasps> oh, it ain't the dragon. It's that motherfucker. And that lady. She's whipping the car in 3D. It's coming at you. Man, this looks way fucking better than what we Dude, got. Dude, you're going to die. We should have got the one we got, the Forbidden Quest, and then this shit. Not yeah. the fucking hippogriff. Fuck the hippocrat. Yeah, fuck the hippogriff that shit, man. shit sucks. Whoa, flame breath. I bet oh. at Universal, fucking Orlando, they don't even have the hippogriff. Because they're like, why the fuck would we even do that? Yeah, it's like the smallest roller coaster. Dude, this is a uh, cut scene from the movie. This is, yeah, 3D camera. You're in the movie now. No, no! Oh! Oh! I can't tell what's happening. Oh, sick. Is that Ron's older brother? Wow, the guy that marries that one chick. You don't remember her name. Chad Weasley. Wow. Chad. <laughs> Giga Chad Weasley. It's me, Giga Chad Weasley. I took care of the dragon. You guys can move along now. Go have yourself a giant turkey leg and stay fully chopped. You can come around anytime. Yay! Yeah. Chad Weasley saved the day, killed Voldemort. Thanks, Giga Chad Weasley. Man, what fucking, why did you have why Bill Weas Why did you have him come out? Why not fucking uh, Longbottom? Yeah. Yo, imagine Longbottom comes out like, oh, I found the sword. Took out a dragon. Keep a guy. Long cock. Long cock. Long, long cock. Long cock. Go get yourself some chocolates. Chocolate frogs at the nearest concession stand mm -hmm. in a butter beer. No, they put an inbred Weasley in the front of it. 
Because guys, yeah, he left. He left Hogwarts to train dragons when he was done. You don't you know the lore? You didn't continue reading along, did you? Well, don't you remember Dumbledore gave him a, a dragon as a pet? He no, did. No. Ah, nice. yeah, I don't remember that. He hooked it up. Uh, is another thing worth looking at? Harry Potter, Universal Studios. Someone said, uh, uh, what is it, the Gringlecock, whatever it was called? Or a head lit. slap. Head slap? Yeah, someone said that. What you mean, head slap? I don't, I don't know what that means, but it sounded funny. Diagonally. The train ride. Troll yeah, head slap? Good. Troll head slap. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, so you get to go on the train. Actual Diagon Alley, they got. They didn't uh, get. They didn't get Hogmead. Hog, Hogcock. They got oh, actual shit. Oh, so you shit. have to go to both to see Diagon Alley. And There's just way bigger. Yeah, way this is, this bigger. This is like literally four times the size of what we got, man. They have both. They have Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley. Wait, the what? Fuck? Diagon Wait, Alley. Wait, what? I feel like we got you know fucking tricked. Yeah. Well, we got like a sampler size. Yeah. Do they have what? That's way bigger. I don't know how many of these are actual. A lot of these look like actual stores too. They're not just like a false wall that says music store. Mm -hmm. Ours had a lot of that. It's like this isn't a real store. And this guy's uh, waddling with the. He's got chub rub bad right here. <laughs> oh, poor bastard! And the moaning Myrtle clap. <laughs> he's got that chub rub walk. He was in there moaning it up with Myrtle. Oh, and I was like, moaning Myrtle. He's like, I, I had to crap, but moaning Myrtle was bubbling and making all these sounds. I didn't get to finish, and I got swamp ass. It's didn't still, give me enough time to wipe. It's still dripping out of me, and I gotta walk with my family. Oh, and it's Orlando heat. There's a Diagon Alley, more like Diarrhea Alley. God damn it, I hate. This fucking shit. It's hot in swampland out here in Florida. Uh, oh, does this place have a toilet? <laughs> this doesn't moan in public. <laughs> yeah. Gotta have that good underwear, dude. With, no, damn, this guy tongue in it down. <laughs> God. I, I, I will say this. Duty test. No matter what, best people watching. Oh, uh, yeah. Theme parks, best people watching. I could just sit in the corner here and just start laughing at shit you see all day. Drunk people. Dude. Dude, that dude's rimming the fucking parts? hell out of it. Yeah. What's the that, scariest Luke? parts of the trip was when that lady was like, Adriana! She couldn't find her kid. You oh, see, yeah. see, like, the fear in her eyes. Oh, oh man. Yeah. yeah. Lady lost her daughter. In real time, we saw a woman lose her daughter. It was, oh, it was fucking scary. In the bro. Minions ride, so it could have been anywhere. Yeah. And the Minions are hard to tell from children. It's yeah. like, yo, I don't know, lady. She's just screaming. Oh. That's why you always have to have that talk when you get there. You tell the kids, if you ever get lost... Mm -hmm. Go to Mickey Mouse's house at Toontown. Go to talk to the local churro lady, and she'll help you. She'll help you. Hook you up with a churro. Free Dude, churros. I got lost at uh, Disneyland as a kid, and I just went to the popcorn lady, and she gave me free popcorn. Oh, so, like, if your kid is really wants some popcorn, just ditch them. <laughs> <laughs> just to at, tell them to pretend to be lost near, the, responsible. near the churro lady, and she'll hook it up with a free warm one. Oh, <laughs> The mentors got him, yeah. I hate to see it, but it is what it is. Do you guys in Orlando, do you guys have a sorting hat thing? Where the hat's like floating and you kind of walk under it like this umbrella, but a hat? Wait, does he get wet? Oh, she's doing the magic trick. Oh, yeah, she's those, doing it. Those things do the... The, the wands actually, do the things. They actually fucking work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an IR sensor. What? No That's wonder why it's actually sixty dollars. That's pretty cool and immersive, right? The wands work. Yeah. What if there's like ten people spamming it? Spam, it's like spam, on and off, spam, on and off, spam. on and off, on and off. Yeah, but your kid's gonna be real disappointed when he gets home and doesn't do shit. Mm -hmm. Well, he's a mud blood saint. Potion yeah, store. You can only do magic in the magic land. It's not allowed. Magic chug. Blah! I want to see, ba dude, Badlands needs to chug luck potions in a... Whoa. Can you imagine you bought 300 luck potions and put them in a boot? All right, y'all. Oh, I came back from Diagon Alley. There's so many chemicals. <laughs> Yo, that would be crazy as fuck. So, y'all, sorry everybody's excited about the new Hogwarts Legacy game coming out. I'm sponsored by Sony on this one. So we drinking a boot full of luck syrup into a big butterbeer chug.
Butterbeer chug. I would I would be worried. Oof. Yeah. Careful, man. I, I would be very worried. That's Professor Snape. Be careful, Badlands. Surely you won't survive this Badlands. It's too much Dude. for a mere mortal to drink all you of this. You know what would be sick? If, like, a craft beer company teamed up and got, like, a butterbeer that was alcoholic that you could buy, like, in storage. Official butterbeer? Uh, butter yeah. Yeah. This is, like, back alley Daigon. Hog and Bounce? That's where you can find uh, Dumbledore on the weekend for $2 two days. What are these glass dildos doing here? Oh, you know what they're for, dude. These wizard butt plugs doing over here. <laughs> it was just a different style. The red light district in Diagon Alley. This is the leaky cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> Native Luna. What are we naming this Djibouti baby boys? Long bottom? Yeah, dude. That's a long bottom baby oh, yeah, boy baby. right there. Thank you for the nine months, man. You get a shrunken oh, head? That one was moving. Oh, yeah. If you're lucky, it moves on you. Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. Damn, you guys got fucking way better shit. Oh, bah, bah. oh, that's pretty cool. That's a cool shop. Yeah. Get some uh, glass taxidermy bullshits. Azkaban breakout. Buy it was cool seeing the wanted poster that moved and everything with uh, Series Black. Was pretty that, cool. like, iPad screen? Yeah. But you can also just buy a $30 print of Gary Oldman's face. Fuck. Look at that. Sir. Epic. Also, uh, going back to like the people watching, a lot of mullets. Lots, yeah. A lot of mullets. Coming back. You brought it back, Pop. I think I started a trend, man. Mm-hmm. Damn, you really out here in Diagon. Oh, the thing wraps around. Embalmers? Undertaker. Ooh. If you get an official wand, you can interact with things in the park. Yep. I know, man. That's way better than ours. Ours are just... Same price, but just plastic. How much for the animated poster of Gary Oldman? Gary. Gary flipping Oldman. It's $10 for the app on your iPad. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Pretty sick, though. Pretty flipping sick, man. Uh, I think it's a Gringot Troll Head Slap if you want to see something funny. Gringot Head Slap. Oh, I got to see this. Pie and mash. Oh, bangers. Oh, bangers and mash. They have a wall that people fucking run into all day. Oh, it's the butterbeer. You guys got elixirs? Fire protection? Whoa. Bring that to Molten Core. Bring that to Backdraft, the live show. Oh, damn. They got way more drinks you can order, too. Yeah, they got all this crafted stuff. Oh, they're getting down with the butterbeer. Green Gots. And then there's Green Gots. Sick looking. This is dope. So fucking cool. Look at the twisty buildings. Yeah, very cool architecture. I'll and look up that other one. I think it's three times, maybe four times the size of uh, Hollywood's. Yeah, that's dope. And what was it called? This head Green slap. God's Troll Head Slap. A head slap. Green God's. Oh, you're not typing. Troll. Green go. God's Troll. Slap. There we go. Probably the second one. What the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> oh my god, this guy's gonna slap the animatronic? What a fucking chat trying hey, to ruin I mean... the experience for everyone. Slapping the Gringot Goblin at Universal Studios. The the guy uh, Hermione warned you about. Oh, Crom. Here comes Crom. <laughs> the Crom goes to the bank. Jabated. <laughs> Green got him. <laughs> Spider Man, what are you doing to Spider Man? <laughs> Who's on top, Toby or Andrew? I can't tell. It's Tommy. Tommy. I want that. I want to see the actual slap now, man. I was denied with a Spider Man's ass. That's a good got him, dude. I've never seen that before. It's great sound, too. Listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> Grin got him. Got grin got. <laughs> grin gotted. So much web on the oh. walls, too. <laughs> Lots of web. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Spider-Verse looking kind of different these days, man. 
<laughs> I mean, dude, if you met yourself in the Spider Verse, man, you're feeling some type of way. I hate this new fucking shorts. I hate the way they're doing YouTube shorts, man. Oh yeah, it's I awful. fucking hate it, dude. <laughs> it is good though. It is a good sound. Dude, imagine he broke the animatronic and had to ah! fucking pay a bunch of money and shit. Or it's like a guy. Hey! I want my fucking money. Yeah, you and you realize it's not an animatronic. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I'm just doing my job. I'll go to your place and smack you on the head, you fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Hogwarts Express. <laughs> <laughs> Hogwarts Express. Universal. Oh, Harry Potter's fun for the whole family. <laughs> well, you get to actually go on the ride. Wow, that's cool. Ultra 4K ride. Oh, I guess we gotta go to Orlando now. Yeah. What the flip, dude? Are you kidding me? This is real? It, you you ride this to Hogsmeade at Orlando. That's fucking crazy. How big is this at uh, Orlando? It's got a couple acres. Raining at Hogwarts. You made a whole fucking train station. That's nuts. That's sick. Give me that fucking 1080, boy. It's two parts. It's two parks. Uh -huh. We got the ponchos on. This look like this thing's prepared for big lines. So wait, you get on the fucking train. It takes you to the other part? Yeah, the other park, which is Harry Potter themed, which is Hogsmeade. That's crazy. That's wild. I didn't expect it to be that big. I thought we got spoiled in Hollywood, but we're fucking not so much. No, we got like a just an appetizer. Oh wait. Oh, wait that's a cool. That's a cool optical illusion. Wait a minute. That's really cool. Oh, you get to see people. Dude, that's cool. You get to see people who are further back in the line walk through that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, he moonwalked it. Whoops. Whoops. Dude, you know what else sucked oh, about the Universal Oh, I see. That's Universal a simple trick of mirrors. They had the fucking cart where you could pretend like you're running through, uh, whatever, nine and three quarters or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't even take a picture with it because, we're, nope, somebody's going to touch it. You can't, you can't use that. Can't have fun. It was so fucking lame, man. Can't have fun. But we're all in rides where we're touching the same lap bars and shit instead. all day. Like, what fucking difference does it make? That's so cool. And they don't even know it, so they don't act it up. They don't, yeah, like, they're just ham it casually up. just walking through. That's pretty cool. Yeah, That's a simple yeah, trick, too. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. There's Harry's... Show me that train. Harry's ostrich. Look at that fucking... That's a real-ass train. Motherfucker's got a train. Actual train. To Hogwarts Castle we go. Fuck out. And it just backs up. Look at that line. Oh, man. Woo! Get woo, the express woo. lane. Wow. Well, it just backs up. We're going to school. Doo, 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 doo. The twain. And the, are the cabins? Yep, they're just like the movie. Wow, that's really cool. Inside the train is super interactive. That's cool. And then you get a monitor. Okay. Baby's crying. Oh, wow. Baby's super going to Hogwarts. Immersive. I didn't know babies could go to Hogwarts. Yeah, baby preschool Hogwarts. Preschool Hogwarts. Daycare Hogwarts. Like baby hair. What a splendiferous day. So laugh a lot. I can't believe that... Trains are real. <laughs> wow. Wow, they really do exist. They actually did it. Wait, that's a Dementor. That's a Death Eater, dude. Right? Mm hmm. It's getting dark out there. Let's find a compartment. Could you just snack? Where's the food tray? Where's those goddamn oh, chocolate frogs? Yeah, well, is that lady gonna come by and offer some chocolate? Is that lady breastfeeding? Uh oh, I don't know if we could show that. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah, skip that. Milk chocolate train. It's a lot of milky chocolate on this train. Dude, I'm so immersed. This lady really looks like she's got her tit out. 
<laughs> Jesus, Louis. <it's> for kids. <laughs> well, I mean, she could have fed him anywhere else except on the fucking ride. It's the only time she could sit down. Jesus. That'd be wild. You're like fucking on a Harry Potter train ride. This lady's busting it out. Pulled it out, milking it. I'm scared anytime the camera goes over here. That baby's drinking milk, dude. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> dude, it's like. <laughs> Hackard, whoa, what's going on inside of that train? Oh, that baby's full of milk. What's a lot of milk coming out of there? Oh, is that wrong with feeding your baby in public? But just, like, pick your spots. You is that pasteurized? Yeah. Let me, I'll take a tall glass of that. Oh, some butterbeer's oh. brewing up. Got some butterbeer brewing in this cabin. <laughs> oh, boy. Through the dark forest we go. This car, that car is built different. Yeah, they can take a hit. Hogwarts. It's beautiful. Trademark music. Bye. He's really looking at her. Milk. Sick, dude. Oh, camera, don't go over there. Don't go over there. This guy's trying to get the uh, thumbnail updated Don't with the. Go over there. Don't go. Nope. Uh, Not falling for it. God damn, Jibuya. I won't try. I <laughs> just like getting milked. <laughs> <laughs> milk baited. Did you see that lady getting milk back there? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Talk about a magic ride. <laughs> There's that baby looking extra full now. Fucking living the life, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping some butter beer. Pretty cool though. Yeah, your guys' uh, Hogwarts is way better in Orlando. Oh, way actually. better. Now we need to go there. Mm -hmm. So you have to wait for the train to go all the way back? I would love to oh, see that. Oh my god. I'd love to see the, the Disney too. Florida Disney. It's different. It hits different. Very nice. Boys. Bop, 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 bop. Just in time for that new Harry Potter video game. It's gonna be fucking epic. <laughs> Flipping epic. It's fuck. Is this still going or is this just like it shows you how I think you it shows you the inside of Hogsmeade when you arrive. Get back to Hogsmeade. Gotcha. It's not a full Harry Potter experience until your baby spit up all over you. Mm -hmm. uh, their Hogsmeade is pretty similar, actually. It's almost one for one. We'll see their Hogsmeade during the day. Orlando Hog. Hoggers. Hoggers. Hogsmead. Yeah, I've never been to the Orlando uh, theme parks. Uh, it kind of makes me want to go. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, everybody. It yeah, it looks actually pretty goddamn close. Big hoggers. It's almost one to one. Big poggers, big hoggers. Yeah, that's very similar. Yeah, that's awesome. They do a really good trick with that that bridge to make it look massive. It's like this teeny tiny little thing and just from far away you're like, oh wow, that's dope. You know it's kinda weird? Wearing uh Mickey Mouse ears to Hollywood, you know, you know. There was a lot of people wearing like uh, Mickey Mouse stuff, but I imagine it's like a lot of people traveled for the SoCal experience. It's kinda weird, that's all I'm saying. Cross branding. Yep. Yeah, get yourself similar. uh get yourself a wand and a shitty breakfast. I can't think about the breakfast too much. I'll throw up. What is that? Pumpkin juice? Pumpkin juice? The juice of a pumpkin? This kid's trying to cast magic on himself. Avocadabo. Oh, they got the book, the fucking dude. The guy who didn't do anything and just stole everybody else's yeah, ideas. Yeah, the, the weird cuck guy. Look up Ben Trace. Brainwashed everyone. Men tries to enter Hogwarts. Is it, am I gonna see Spider Man slap another man's ass though? I mean, it is yeah, the same guy that recommended the same video. <laughs> Maybe you guys should look at it before you put it up. Hey man, I love that. Pops really liked that one. It was nice. Oh yeah, I've seen this. Pops saved that to his playlist. Oh, okay, actually, I don't remember this. I've seen this one before. Oh. It's close. It's close. <laughs> what a good talk. He hit that shit hard. You could hear his bones smack the wall. You can hear him, dude. He did it for the vine. Come on. What's that noise? Uh, do some detective work. One second. It might be my fan. 
I think it's Louis. Oh, Sand. okay. I yeah, was yeah. like, wait, what is that? Is that bathroom <laughs> ASMR still playing? It's, it's, it's real hot. Is Moaning here, Myrtle video still playing? You can hear Moaning Myrtle behind Ooh, you, Lou. Yeah, yeah. I'm so Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's got, very they, they similar. The, they got the one to one copy over there. And they, except they have a train. Except it's much better. But yeah, pretty cool. That's yeah, cool. that was our uh, Universal Hogwarts experience. It was a lot of fun. If I have anything else to show, I think it was pretty much everything. And a little bit of that Simpsons y goodness. Yo, Chili Poodle, happy Wednesday. Hey. Love when Harry Potter's on the stream. Can't wait for the more uh, retro, the retro games. Yes, we do have those. I have those ready to go. We need to hop into some of them bitches soon. Mm -hmm. um, tomorrow, I think we will check out our Halloween behind the scenes. Yes. I think we also have a sponsored thing tomorrow. Oh, yes. no, actually, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do one or the other. But there's also, yeah, we're doing a fun uh, sponsor y. Cool. I love when we get like a cool pixel kind of game show up and they, oh, yeah. they offer yeah. to do a sponsor. Indie it's really game. cool. So I'm excited for tomorrow. And then, um, yeah. Uh, and tomorrow's Halloween. Thursday. And then I'll Friday. see if I can get Halloween uh, the behind the scenes. See if I can get Jeff over here. It'd be really cool this week to get Ooh, him over. Good guy, Jeff. Uh, I already reached out. See what he said to me. But uh, yeah, it was fun hopping in here, showing you guys a little bit of that, showing a little bit of this, getting out of here, getting out of these four walls to go do something more fun yeah. uh, and to do a little bit of this IRL content. Drink some ba beer and so forth. Um, so Box, thank you. Alma, thank you. Can we look at real life Gundam in Japan? Are Are there real life Gundams oh. in Japan? We have looked at this before in the past. I think we already yeah, seen, seen the statues and stuff, right? Yeah. I think we've seen that, Alma. They are yeah. dope, though. They're super sick. We have seen I want to see Gundam Land. Why don't we get a Gundam Land, huh? Is Gundam's Did you guys see the picture of, like, the 20 dudes cleaning the Gundam? What? No. There's, like, a picture, like, of, like, a statue of a Gundam or something like that. And there was, like, 20 guys just, like, polishing it at the same time. Mm. Yeah, we've seen this. Yeah, yeah, we have checked this out. I don't know how they fucking clean this shit. It sounds like a nightmare. It's like a... Fuck, dude. Yeah, I could see it taking more than... 15 people wash this thing at a time. Spent all day doing that shit. Wrong site? Oh, sorry. That was my uh, my Pornhub tabs. I'm sorry. Oh. Universal Japan, they have Sailor Moon Ride. Oh, my God. Something, something by daylight. How many dudes does it take to polish this guy off? <sighs> a whole tower of people, How probably. many, chat? How many to polish this bad boy off? To take this guy for a spin? A hundred... 120 dudes slowly stepping. Why don't we get Elon Whoa, Musk to send one of these out to space? Oh, I'm gonna Dude, just take a big so sick. You right? look up the moon at night and there's a Gundam flying by. Wouldn't that be fucking dope, dude? Better than a regular ass looking spaceship. One small step. Small, slow step. For robots. Robot kind. Yeah, that is so sick, though. For mankind. All right. And another You're one. gonna get it. Let me put it in two times speed, maybe. <laughs> this is there the Jeff Fox worthy of uh, Gundams. <laughs> Dude, yeah, this thing start tipping forward. Perfectly it took two steps. balanced. We've you come don't a long lock way. Lock your knees like that, Chad. You can pass out. Still very slow. Two All times right. Speed. Two One times more. Speed. Even the lights go slow. Now to spread it all out. This is two times speed, just so everyone knows. And now we're going to take off. Here we go. Papa Squat. Ugh. There it is. The future. Taking a knee. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah, we finally did it. Look how far along we've come. Yeah, we'll definitely do more uh, theme park stuff. More getting out of the house content. It's really fun, guys. Yeah. Appreciate you guys tuning in and watching today. Yo, Magic Frozen, Mountain next. Frozen Brains, thank you. Um, everybody, you're the best. Best coming on Twitch. We'll sign off now. I want to get some other stuff done. Um, but it, was, it was fun to hang out with y'all for this uh, this Wednesday. Happy hump day to you. And have a great uh, rest of your night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Pop your luck potions. You'll Do need it. Dope shit. Yeah, also starting to feel a little sick from that luck potion. Yeah, it's pretty gross. You're lucky you didn't yeah, have I'm it, I'm kind of glad I didn't eat any of it. To, <laughs> I will, though. Come over next time. <laughs> got a headache growing in the uh, yeah, yeah. I'll the join sugar, in on the, the, the pain. The sugar rush is happening. 
Yeah. But we'll see you next time, chat. Thank you guys for being the best community on Twitch. Have a good rest of your day. All right? Love you, chat. Bye. And Louie, thank you for joining us. And every time I'll be here, baby. Call me. And if I'm not dying of a headache, I'll be there. Oof. I'm going to take an Advil right now, actually. Uh, that's that's my luck potion. <laughs> a little bit of Advil and some water. Yeah, some Western medicine. That'll do it for you. Take the edge off. Thanks for everyone who subbed, used your Twitch Prime, gifted, dropped some bits. Really appreciate all the support, everybody. Thank you. Oh, you want to do, uh, you want a potion, Potter? I've got something for you. A little something called Advil Tylenol. We could kill it, Advil. A little bit of water, Tylenol. Should be Dude, a good I bet time. I could just cast a spell and be like, Headache away, yes. and it's gone. Yeah, why aren't doctors better, dude? Why that's, can't just doctors yeah, just They need stuff? wands, dude. That's why, that's why we dare to dream, Louie. For the day in which a world like Harry Potter could possibly be real. And I'll be the first one in line. I'm going to post a point break on the Patreon. That's Ooh. correct. Solid E. I'm going to put that up right now, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Be safe. Have a good one out there. Peace.